Welcome, Sketchbook Heroes. We had a lot of good, we have some good questions we're going to just cover real quick, and then we'll show you what we're going to draw today, and we're going to get start, started on our drawing. So we're going to cover perspective just real quick and uh, and uh, something on maps. So, and then we'll show you what we're going to draw. So first thing is, is here we go, perspective. Perspective is um, just trying to see uh, space. It's, uh, it's uh, you have what's the important concept is your horizon line. Your horizon line is also known as your eye level. This is where your eye is. If, if you're standing right here, this is where your eyes are, right? It's also the horizon line. Uh, mountains can go above it, and and uh, but not below it. The ocean is right at your horizon line. So if a person is standing here, there you go. That's your horizon line. You have one point perspective, two point perspective, uh, and a, and three point perspective. Uh, it's good to start off with one point, and then um, everything, all the lines go to that vanishing point. That vanishing point. You have a street. Um, and then uh, the one point perspective, actually, we can do all of them real quick. Just a real simple, it's really simple. Your lines are either going straight up and down. This is the trick. Your lines are either going straight up and down, straight across, or to the vanishing point. That's it. All, no other direction unless there's angles. All right. So again, uh, let's put a square right here uh, on this side. Hey, Josh, we're doing a quick perspective lesson. Uh, we're doing just a rectangle on this side. And it's a little tricky because um, it's it's just uh, getting scale and all that stuff. It, it does take some practice and, and seeing how big things are and going above the horizon line. Um, this would go, this corner would go down to that vanishing point there. And then here you have a building right there. Oh, there's one building. And it's a, it's a, it's a cube. It's a block. And then if all the, the windows on this side would go to this vanishing point. So if we had all these all these lines would be going to that vanishing point like that. And these lines on this side would still be going up and down. Uh, they get closer as they get this way. But uh, you can actually see, uh, put, put do doors here. And we have a building here. We can put a thickness to this uh, sidewalk here. It also goes to that vanishing point. And everything on this side of that building would be straight up and down or straight across because it's facing us. This side of the building is facing us. All right. So it's just understanding your angle, your lines are only going straight up and down, straight across, or to the vanishing point. And they're usually going to the vanishing point if it's going away from us, away from us. And then you would have, if you have a building that's taller, you can have one that's taller, that's right next to it. Right. And it's this side's facing us. So it's facing us and straight across. But this point here would go down to that vanishing point on this side. And this angle, angles, which we talk about ratios, angles, proportions, practice this little angle here. It's just, it's, everything gets smaller as we go back in space. That's it. You can, um, the sidewalk, sidewalk would be straight across as it goes back. Uh, we can actually add more to this building. Add another rectangle on top of it. This would go back to the vanishing point, this angle here. We can actually put a pyramid on top of it as well. That starts to get a little more. We're breaking the, the angles, but because it's uh, not going to the vanishing point, you can see that. All right, so that's one point uh, perspective. And then when you get into two point, uh, that gets a little more complex. So uh, two point real quick. Two point, you'd have two points. The further, the better. And then you have, uh, you, you would have your cube here and your vertical line straight up and down. And then your lines going to the vanishing point. The top and the bottom would go to that vanishing point. And then the sides would be there. So here you have the same block, but now there's really no um, horizontal lines. Uh, only vertical lines and the horizontal lines are either going to this vanishing point or that vanishing point. It's like we shifted views. It's like we shifted views. We actually, instead of looking straight this way, we kind of just turned a little bit. So this, this, this side of the building now has all this, all these sides that used to have horizontal lines go to a vanishing point to the side. And, uh, you just do the same thing. If you want a building that's taller, the top of it would go. Yeah, it's seeing these lines right here. These lines are the vertical lines are, are the, probably the best. Because then uh, you can make it as tall as you want. 
and but the tops and the bottoms would go to the vanishing points. And here you have another building. And if I were to do the same thing as we did over there with a block on top, we have the, the sides are going straight up and down, vertical, but the top does go to this vanishing point on this side. The thing is uh, not getting mixed up which side is which side. Which side is the left side and which side is the right side? That's that's the biggest thing with the, this perspective stuff. Getting this to go to the vanishing points. I'm just kind of guesstimating, doing it really quick. There's that building. And if we do, you know, same thing. If we did the um, doors that were here, these door, this line goes up to that vanishing point, up to the vanishing point. There it is. Now, if there's a building that's below our vanishing point, below, you see the top. You see the top of the building. That would be the top of the building. There it is. The top of the building. Let's end it there. We have this square here, or this rectangle, sorry. This rectangle. And the corners go up to the vanishing point. Corner goes up to the vanishing point. This corner goes up to that vanishing point. And sometimes you're like forcing stuff and, and it, it does take some practice and, and scale. I always see uh, people doing things out of scale. Like they do things like, like they put a big person right in here. They don't, they don't. Um, and that, that's the next level, really seeing scale and proportions. But the first thing is just trying to understand um, perspective. Cause it's, it is, it is a little bit tough because you're dealing with 3d space on a flat surface, flat surface. So yeah, that's, that's a quick, quick, uh, there's there's some master long classes on this so that's two point one point and we can go into three point which is just getting these all these verticals now and bringing them down or up to a vanishing point so um, all these lines then would come down to a vanishing point below and that's three point perspective we actually see more like this we do actually see more like this we don't notice it because we were so focused, um, but our vision is more like this in space. Things are always closer to us or further away, and it's just slight, slight we don't even notice. All right, that's perspective. Let's jump into, oh, a lot, what we did last week. Uh, we've gotten to shading, we got into this. We have people ask for scenery, uh, the basics. So you're, if you're asking for the basics, you're in the right spot. Uh, how to do water. Uh, these are some of the requests uh, that was posted. Anxiety. Slow down. I just heard this really good. Um, somebody is uh, talking about um, when they posted their, for the class tonight, they asked, uh, they, they have a little bit of anxiety with drawing and you do have to kind of slow down. If you're feeling anxious, uh, you know, you need, either need time or help. So so um, it's a good way of actually helping kids. Uh, sometimes people don't have that, that patience with us and like, ah, oh. But a um, good thing to ask kids, you ask them, hey, do you need time or do you need help? And that gives them agency. That gives a kid agency, you know, where they, hey, you need to tie your shoes. You know, you don't want to speed them up. Do you want need more time or do you need some help? And then that that gives them, okay, I need more time. Or can you help me? <clears throat> right. So so that that's a really good um, a video, actually, I just saw from a, from a person. But you got to be forgiving. Really got to be forgiving. Drawing is, is a tough thing. You're not going to get it right the first time, but it's a good challenge. It is a really good challenge because there's nobody there but you, a pencil and a paper. And that's really it, really. It's, and it's taking on the challenge because you can <clears throat> go from something that's simple to something that's way more complex, right? <clears throat> and you can do it. All it is is shapes, right? The Half the battle is believing you can. And uh, breaking it down because I can, I can, I'm helping people break it, break things down. People are asking about anatomy, perspective. We got perspective, <laughs> um, pictures, uh, anatomy. We'll be doing next month on Tuesdays. Cartoons, landscapes. We do have some cartoons tonight, and maybe some landscapes. Um, uh, people, architecture. The yeah, people again and faces. Faces. We're doing on Tuesdays for the rest of this month. On Tuesdays. Uh, portraits, somebody else asking for portraits, and then somebody saying anything, they just want to reconnect to the pencil. Yes, that's what it's about. Building that habit, reconnecting, and and uh, just, just practicing, practicing, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes progress. So you want to practice, practice, practice. This is our practice. This is all from last week, or this week. Actually, this is this week. That's from last week. Uh, and then this is from this week on Tuesday's class. We, we just really, really simplify just into basic shapes and we're doing portraits. So, and we actually were drawing upside down as well. 
All right. All right, let's get started. Let's jump to our screen here. All right, we got something in the chat. Uh, thanks for the perspective. You're welcome. Do you need time or do you need help? <laughs> you know what? Uh, I, I, I sometimes need both. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, okay, sometimes I need focus, you know, it's like, okay, wait a minute, focus. Like today I was like working on organizing stuff and sometimes like, oh, you know, it's dreaded. It's dreaded. It's like kind of like, I, 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 <laughs> oh, here's a drawing we did. I do um, I task avoidance, task avoidance. All right, here we go. Let's share my screen. Let's get started. All right. So here we go. These are the, the requests uh, for the drawings. Uh, we have a simple, simple, but it's in, it's in, there's some 3D uh, happening here actually there is a vanishing point on this one believe it or not there's a vanishing point on this one uh we got our our owl we'll start off with we got an iguana we've got i love the five pictures uh, laura posted oh laura posted okay i'll have to take a look is oh okay oh laura posted this all right cool we're gonna do this one in this order i think we're gonna go in this order uh we're gonna do uh the cat and the dog and I don't know. I don't know. This this uh this this gets a little more complex. So I don't know if we're gonna do um all of the the Simpsons here. And it's definitely Happy Valentine's Day. We're it's right around the corner. Today's the 9th of February already. We've got a whole family here. But they put the fun in dysfunction. All right, here we go. Oh, that's really nice. This is really nice. This would be really nice to paint. This is watercolor. It'd be nice to paint. I don't know if we um I don't know. We're gonna have to start another 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 class just for the watercolors, but it's really simple stuff. Here's your horizon line. And and then everything else just uh, underneath it and stuff. It's just, and you got wet it to wet techniques happening, then dry on wet with the birds. All kinds of stuff happening, really nice stuff. Oh, this is a really nice, uh, nice uh, kind of, it's feline. Uh, it's got that, that shape, I wanna say, I can't recall what that is. Let's see if it says, no, I can't see it. All right, so, and then we got an elephant. Yeah, we can draw these. <laughs> we got we got a troll here. Somebody trolling. Yeah, that one's actually this one's actually pretty simple. We probably might move this one to the front. I usually uh, try to organize these, uh, and then that one. That one's pretty cool. So I don't know if we can get to all of these. That was really neat. We got some really neat stuff. Yeah, I don't know if we'll, we'll see what we can get to. Oh, this is really nice. I really like this. That's really nice. It's a di done digitally. That was cool. You can see perspective here too. Things that are lower or closer, things that are further back, higher up or further back. There's is there any overlapping? Yeah, there's a little bit of overlapping here and there. Definitely the trees are overlapping the, the mountains in the back. We're talking about space pods, how artists create space placement, things that are lower or closer. And then you have a plane here. We can actually find some um, we that's assuming. Well, we can assume that the bottoms are all the, on the floor, so that would help. And then we can actually do the tops if they were the same height. That would take us to the vanishing point, but it's really hard to see where vanishing points are on this this one. Ooh, pop! That's really neat. That would take that would take a while. And then this is I talk about perspective, but you know what? I don't know if they're doing a perspective. They're just doing angles, which is fine. The angles are going down. I don't think the angles are going to a vanishing point. They just did some really good observation drawing here, but I don't think these lines are going to a vanishing point. We can check them. Uh, really quick this is this is <laughs> we'd be here all nights drawing this but uh and this is two points perspective it would be two point so it goes down but I this would only take about six minutes this is your simplification challenge test <laughs> okay yeah I would, I would just draw look at i would just draw this and then the, the s s cylinders in the middle yeah we can simplify this i mean that's not i mean like the volcano i know that i never did but it, it's simplifiable well, we got a lot of stuff to draw look at here it's just drawing these shapes see these are the main shapes and then it's just filling it all in it's filling it all in it's filling it all in <laughs> i'm going to give you uh i give you a star i'm gonna give you a star that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah you can see these angles and this is this one's a little further in and then drawing that that uh, circle in there. All right, uh, let's clear all that. Uh, let's go. Let's see what else we got here. All right, let's see any more drawings. Ooh, wow, very abstract. But the oh, bryozoa are tiny aquatic animals. Each measure a few millimeters in length. 
the living animal is gone, but the hard calcium carbonate compartment of its skeleton is shown here. Wow. Looks, it looks scary. It looks like a, some kind of monster or even a mask. Uh, that would be a cool mask. And uh, back to here. All right. So here we are. We're going to start off with this drawing. Let's get started. We got our circle here. Bam. You can see a circle right in there. Uh, one thing that I did want to is the perspective here. We do have perspective. There is kind of like a perspective going on. If you get the tops, you can see that top, top of the eyes, and then the bottom of the eyes. I mean, this this is kind of, uh, it's a little bit uh, on the crude side as far as drawings. Because I can't really, see, I can imagine where the bottom of the eye is. And here you can actually see where the bottom of the eye is. Here would be here. So I would probably assume... I'm assuming the bottom of the eye is, is here. It's implied. So the vanishing point would be right there. That's our vanishing point. And that would mean this is our horizon line. We're kind of looking down. You see if I were to draw a horizon line or this uh, owl in a tree or wherever, this would be my horizon line. I could put a branch and stuff, whatever, and I can put, uh, you know, but this would be our horizon line because just because of the eyes. That's all we needed to find the horizon line. All right, so there's our horizon line. Um, what else? I think that's that's about it. We can break the circle into halves. That kind of helps because we've got a half there, and then we got another half up here. And you can see that uh, where the placement of those eyes kind of are, uh, really on this half, right in there, and then over here on this half, really small. Uh, so if we break this into halves again, halves and have nats. There we go. You kind of see, you know, it's good to kind of break it into those because then you kind of see where it's at as far as location wise. Spacing is always the hardest part in drawing, seeing where things are. And this helps because a circle is a circle. And let's get started. All right, here we go with our little owl here. Oh, I didn't screenshot it. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, I love that too. Do you need time or do you need help? I love that. We got to give kids agency. We got to help them. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes we get frustrated with them and then uh, that frustration carries over into their lives and they don't have frustration. I, they don't have patience, but learning takes patience. Really, when you're learning something, you got to be patient. Got to be patient. You got to be forgiving. Uh, you know, learn to like, OK, and, and that's what learning. We forget how <laughs> it takes time to learn. It does. All right. So here we go. Let's um, draw a circle and just sketch it in. We're sketching sketching our little circle scribbling it in there's our circle bam after a few turns i'm gonna break into fourths uh you don't have to but uh, it's just going to help with the placement of everything oh let's put the uh bird in the uh chat uh here we go nobody's reminding me it's okay i remember <laughs> i remember because you guys remind me <laughs> it's like uh, the bird all right, here we go. So there's there's the owl. It's in the chat. And we started off. Here we go. 650. Actually, it's probably 654 now. Uh, already. I got to change because nobody nobody shares as much anymore. We don't. Uh, or maybe we, should, we need to change our time. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good, he says. All right, so here's our fourth. So this kind of helps. Uh, we're going to do one eye. is going to be um, uh, right in here. Actually, I'm going to simplify it and try to make it a little more makes sense there's one eye over here and then the other eye right about there about that big okay and that does help oh it, it should be a little higher let's get it a little higher and this is why it's good to draw the big shapes first not get into the detail we can make these adjustments and it should be up a little higher Actually, let's see about that's good right about there you see the relationship the relationship of both all three circles it's the first circle same height same width we have a request that you yes. brighten well you can look at you can look at it in chat brighten oh, the yeah. paper area brighten it ah. up okay yeah the thing is i i draw lightly uh, i draw lightly you draw light until you get it right and then you can go darker all right so yeah that, that should help a little bit and then um, I'm going to, I'll go darker. I'm just drawing really light. I'm putting things where I feel kind of like they go. And I can kind of see the top of the eye and the bottom of the eye uh, right about in there. There's uh, that, that uh, and I would find the vanishing point. 
There's my vanishing point, and here would be my my horizon line back there, just like that other one. All right. Thank you for the request, though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And and this is actually darker than I would actually draw. Well, I just sketch this out really quickly. I do this really fast. I would I, I would always get into. I started one when, when I first started drawing. I would just start drawing in one place, and then just draw, and I would finish. And it would be you know it would be a really good observational drawing. I draw what I see. But the the proportions were off, or or things would be off out of shape. This is a lot more more, um, and I would see drawing books <laughs> with the steps in it, and I would just forget the steps and just jump to the end. But you can do the steps really quickly. All right, let's see the nose. The nose is going to be uh, not right in the middle. It's going to be a little bit off center. It's a little bit off center, a little bit close to the left because of perspective. So like right in there, around it does come out it does come out and i'm already going dark and over like this this is a little bit of a complex shape because it's it's kind of pointing out in space if it was facing us it would kind of like be a triangle but um this is uh how do i how do i explain this i don't know huh, interesting this is really a little bit of a complex shape you know the bottom is straighter there's a comes to a point and and that if it was facing us, that would be easier to draw because it would be just a rounded top and then it would just come, come down to a point like that. But as it's turning in space and it's also actually even curved, you can see that that top part still rounded. This, uh, this part comes out and then it kind of attaches itself right there. So it's coming out. If it was totally sideways, it would be uh, like, it would probably be like this, a little bit more like this. It's totally sideways and there's a little bit of a curve on it as far as uh, this beak all right so there you go you have that shape and i'm already going dark with it i'm already going dark with it let me do the rest of it kind of light here because i know this is going to go around it goes up there's around these eyes and i'm just kind of sketching it in really lightly just to just to notice it's really sketchy it's, i'm not worried about it being perfect I'm I'm gonna go over that. I'm just kind of like laying it down. I'm blocking it in, and that's actually a Disney term. I'm blocking it in. A Disney artist showed me about that, and I was like, "Oh wow!" To block it in. Oh okay. All right. So there's that. Um, actually, this looks good right here. All right. I'm happy with that. All right. So everything's kind of blocked in. Uh, the ear. There's one ear out here. I can block that in as well, and then this other ear over here and then one foot here and then another foot there so everything's kind of blocked in oh let's zoom out a little bit no no it's, let me zoom out real quick for a second just so you can see that I, I blocked in the feet one's a little bit lower one's a little bit higher it's kind of facing that way it's kind of like a three-quarter view so it's a little bit more of a challenge it is it is it is but um, when you're first learning, first learning, you want to do um, orthographic views, things facing you. Like if you were to draw this box, you want it to face you. Because once you start getting angles and stuff like that, that makes it a little more complex. This face, you know, if it's facing you, you can see more simple shapes. But once you get it at an angle, you know, you're getting perspective. You're getting all kinds of other stuff happening. But um, it's all good. It's all good. Take on the challenges wherever you're at. If it's too hard, you want to simplify. You don't want to get a little frustration is good. But I uh, don't want to overly where you give up and quit and stop. And I can't sing to get the cans in your pants. All right, we're going to do the bottom of the beak. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Bottom of the beak right there. And just the kind of around. And it's got, um, I would probably just put one. It had two little nostrils. Probably just put one because it's kind of facing that way. You can do two. Okay, you are kind of looking down on it, so you might be able to see two. I'm just going to do one and do the eye. Now, the eye is... So, uh, look at the, uh, like, there's a, a crescent moon under each um, eye, under each pupil. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, there is kind of like a, yeah, there, there is like a, a crescent, crescent moon under the uh, pupil. So, uh, here's my circle. Yeah, actually, why don't we do that? we we'll focus on this eye. I hear now what's interesting about the, these eyes is that um, there's a little the, the thickness of this line and it actually goes and there's a little bit of turns on this um, 
on this circle because it points up and then points out and then here there's another kind of from to this point right here this point at uh one o'clock on this circle it kind of pulls out a little bit and they're really thick these lines are really thick up here but you don't see them as thick because in this area is where the pupil is it comes down and around right in there so let's see let's get this but it's going from thin to thick up up there and then let's get that pupil in there let's get that pupil in there and this is implied it does not it's not finished but that that would be the circle if i wanted to just erase it afterwards clean it up but that that's open that's open right there and then they have this uh, oval shape really huge oval uh, iris it's the iris you really don't see the pupil and i'm making it more rounded than they are than they are I meant the iris, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, this is the iris here. And then here you can see the white of the eye. The white of the eye kind of looks like a half moon. That's it. And then we're going to draw the um, the highlights. The highlight, there's a reflection. There's one right about there. And then one underneath it right about there. And then um, the rest of that is all kind of shaded in. I'll just shade it in. All right. Those of you who are joining us for the first time ever, Thank you for joining us. We will have lessons for you. We will. The lessons are coming. I keep saying the, the outline is there now. So that's great. That's a big first step. As soon as my nose heals, <laughs> um, we should be just shooting just, just five minute lesson videos. So you know what we're talking about. And then I don't have to repeat myself so much. You're like, oh, that's what he's talking about. Well, rap. What's that? What's, <laughs> what's uh, space pods? What's this? What's that? So you just go through the lessons and this is just practice here. We just practice, 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 and uh, then put it all together for you. There's one eye, one eye, one eye down. Let's do the next eye. This other eye here, uh, ready. Uh, it's, and it's really open. I, I would, I would go more on this, uh, this rounded shape that I kind of already have. Um, it does pull on it. It's not perfectly round. It does kind of pull up at the top. So I will push it up a little bit. See, it doesn't take much. Once you have your circle, you can actually, you know, adjust things slightly. So we'll push it up just slightly, bring it over, and then pull it out a little bit. It does pull out and then kind of go down like that, I would say. And it is going from thin to thick as it goes up. Let me do that. Then as it goes up, same thing on the left side. Then as it thick as it goes up. All right, and you got those big, big eyes, like puss in boots. Puss in boots. Welcome. All right, here we go. <laughs> Try to keep you keep you entertained here as well as 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 learning. All right, now this this uh pupil. Uh, is I would I would I'm making it rounder as well. They've got it a little more open. I don't know. You can I'm I'm rounding it out a little bit more than than they are, than the drawing is that I'm copying, and that's because I just I understand form and I can see it underneath. I mean I can actually see it like boom it would be, right in there. So I'm just giving it a little bit more form than that would than they may have. That's good. I'm happy with that. I can actually it's still adjust this more, a little bit more. I can push this up a little bit higher. You can make these little adjustments. So it's really cool. You see, I'm not erasing. I'm just, I'm just adding, I'm just adding, I'm just adding to the, to, to what's there. All right. We got need two more, two more highlights. All right. We got people, more people coming in. We've got Chris in here three times. That's super cool. <laughs> we got three Chris's. Chris K, Chris Two Chris K's and a Chris. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Welcome to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> the Matrix is real. <laughs> Stuck in the Matrix. All right. So uh, the highlights, there's two highlights. There's one like right in the middle right there. I would, yeah, I guess that's it. It's, it was still kind of, it should be related to that eye right there. It's all good. It's all good. All, all three of you are welcome. <laughs> There's that one. And then we got the other highlight right next to it on this side. It's just a little, a little of a circle. And that's it. There's no, there's no iris. There's no pupil. It's all just dark. It's all just dark. 
Welcome, welcome. I'm just shading it in. Yeah, this is an H pencil. Where's my where's my uh, darker pencils? <laughs> That's all here. I'll just I'll just finish this up. Yeah, the materials don't really matter when you're first learning. When you're first learning anything, anything, um, you know, don't don't let things hold you back. You know, it's easy to make excuses. It's easy to say, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. But you know, when it comes to drawing, drawing is the great equalizer. Equalizer. It really is. You can use anything to draw. You can use anything to draw. But when you get into shading and into other stuff, that's <clears throat> that's when you really need to start uh, your other tools. But when you're first learning to draw, you know, you can draw anything, anything. But then you get into color and get all that other stuff. That's all just the icing on the cake. But the drawing, 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 the raw drawing, and really anything, pen, pencil. <clears throat> All right, we got our eyes done. All right, let's chit chat. Let's let's uh, okay. <laughs> it's interesting what they've got. It really kind of is. They, they, they're, they're it's really a, really a little crude. I would say the drawing's a little crude. We're gonna clean it up a little bit. And it's fun to do crude too. I mean, it doesn't always have to be perfect. You know, it's, it's, I'm a perfectionist myself. I'm a recovering perfectionist. <laughs> All right. The thing is, uh, don't get stuck. Don't let don't let that perfectionism pause you. Perfectionism can pause. So, all right, here we go. Let's see. I'm just uh, getting that roundedness. It's got poke, pokey ear. And that pokey ear, and then it goes around that circle here. See. Well, let's see what else. It just comes down. And we can make it really sketchy because it they can be feathers. <clears throat> Well, the top probably really smooth. And then it goes out. Great horned owl. And it's got little little things there. Comes down and around. <clears throat> really? I don't know if they're going to try to put, because there are wings. It looks like they have they're trying to put wings on it. Something like that. I can add little wings. Little wings. Isn't that a band? There we go. And then the rest is kind of like, um, I don't know, they're trying to do, it's just scribbles. Uh, they probably did a copy of another drawing. But um, I'm just going to go around here. Let's let's do the eyes and the feet. Uh, let's finish up the eyes. And then the, the feet. I'm going to zoom in. There we go. Uh, they've got, it's, it kind of goes around like this. It looks like a, like a bandit. Uh, he's like he's got a mask on of some some kind, and it's just going around little little circles, being a little bit more um, deliberate. But they have like I don't know like a lot of little scribbles kind of going around, a little, a little more deliberate, and just always do what you like. Do what you like. Follow your taste. Feel free to make changes. Use your creativity. Use your artistic license. I give everybody an artistic license. Yeah, now you gotta like, okay, I like it this way. And then you look at it later and oh, okay, maybe that other way. Or you know, you gotta use your own judgment. You really do. You gotta use your own judgment. See what you like, see what you don't like. And you guys, sometimes you got to do what you don't like to know that you don't like it. <laughs> like, hey, I didn't like that. Okay, next time I'll do it this way. Next time I'll do it that way. But you got to do it. That's, that's the thing. Don't let it stop you. Don't, don't, don't let the, because then you get, um, it's that paralysis from analysis. Paralysis, perfectionism, paralysis. And then there's all these little scribbles underneath. I mean, I don't know. Is under here because it could be shaded it could be shaded let's zoom out and then um yeah all this i think would be shaded we can actually nice little shade in here would make it a little more real and then let's see it's just all this little little bit of a shade that reminded me of a uh, somebody put a troll on there but it reminds me of um those little gremlins what was it yeah is it a gremlin i don't know 
All right, the feet. The feet are really simple as well. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess you can you can simplify them like this, like they're drawn. They're just like it's just like drawn like that. They're, it's just like that. It's just like a boom, boom, like a W, an extra with an extra wobble, a wobble you. Uh, but um, uh, of course, I'm going to complicate it. I'm going to add a little bit of overlapping. This toe is uh, in front of, so I'm going to put it there. A little bit of overlapping, bring that over, and then put this one behind. See, and it's just really slight. Just doing those little things kind of do make a difference. I'm going to add a little bit of a talon because they do have these talons. There we go. And then a little bit of roundedness, a little bit more form. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Uh, so you can see how I did it. You can keep it really simple, just like they have it. Oh, like just like this, one, two, three. And then I, what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just slightly overlapping it, I'm just bringing this one underneath this one in the front. Then this one goes over, and then this one's like comes from behind. And it's just like over so so slightly of a difference but you can see the difference especially if you look at the original and understanding these if you can get it great if you can't that's okay don't be so hard on yourself do what you can do your best and then next time there's always next time when you're drawing there's always next time the thing is make it <laughs> make it there's the next time sometimes you just quit no, i can't i can't you get the can'ts in the pants can't don't 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 let that happen don't let the can'ts don't let the can'ts take over here we go i think that i think that's it you can i can go over with with a, a marker or, or go darker well, there's our first drawing of the night i think it's done all right let's see tax refund it's tax time again i joined three times <laughs> i don't know what's going on have you seen the movie hoot no i haven't seen the movie hoot Hoot, hoot and nanny. All right. Ooh, we've got another uh, suggestion from Laura. We've got uh, this. Um, I'll share my screen real quick. We've got our uh, this uh, reptile. I don't know if she's here. I don't see a Laura. All right. That's all good. It's all good. All right. So I'm going to block this out real quick so you can see the shapes. Uh, there we go. We got uh, almost a circle head. It, it is, does pull out, but this this is the circle part. And then there's the triangle. So here, let me see. Let me pull this back right in there. You can see that circle part. See that circle part. And then it, then it pulls out. There's, it kind of pulls out. And I would pull it out there like that to, to an oval, right? And then to a point. All right, let's see. There we go. Right to that point there and there's a little bit of an s curve on that point and then this one just curves back and then here there is a little bit of a taper it does taper as it comes down and then it goes around here i would see the square here just to just to see these breaking it down you can see the size of the head the size of the body and then the size of the tail just a little bit smaller as it curves in and curves down Got to see the shapes and how they relate. Like almost, it's almost like a, a square and a circle that are about the same size, and then the tail a little bit smaller. All right, I think that's good. Let's jump on in. All right, Ooh, something in the chat. What's that? I'm here. She is there. All right, cool. Here's your drawings. And somebody gave. Oh, I love the five pictures Laura posted. Ellen says, "There you go. You are here." That's great. Post pictures, post pictures, people. That helps me, you know, you got to find what you draw because sometimes it's, it's, it's you come across a challenge like, oh, I'm trying to draw this and I want to draw this. You know, that's, you got your purpose. You got a reason. You're like, oh, I really like this. So here's my circle, right? I'm, I'm going to uh, make that square that's right next to it. <laughs> See my square, uh, a little bit smaller. It's because the head does kind of come up. That square space. I'm just blocking things in. And then the tail that kind of comes out around right behind it. I am going light again. I'm just starting. So it's a circle. Okay, I'm like square. It's a little bit smaller. And then the tail that kind of comes out. And I know it's going to be right in there. And just like that, I kind of have it blocked out. 
I have it blocked out. I can do the back legs. There's a back leg right here with the toes. And then we got this front leg that kind of comes back at an angle and then comes down. Like right in here, here's the, the foot. All right. All right. And I can kind of see it, how I'm getting it to block in and it fits on my paper and I'm happy with it. So let's let's continue. Let's just zoom in on the head. All right. So I blocked it all in. Usually do that pretty quick. We are picking up the speed as we as we move along here. So here's the head. A rounded top. Oops, rounded top. And it does pull forward a little bit. And there's a little bit of an S curve. As it comes down, then it goes out again. Just slight, just slightly. Let's get this marker. Let's do this with the marker. Let's see, it goes up over. Oh, comes down and then out just slightly. Yeah, but I can fix it. What's great is because these these lines are really thick. I can go up a little bit higher, make these adjustments a little bit higher, bring it down, and kind of a little bit of slight of an S curve right up right that way to that peak. Really slight. If you get it, great. If you don't, it's okay. It's not a not a big deal. It does come more to a point though, right there. And then from here, let's bring this point out a little bit more. Push that back. Then here it just swoops down. It swoops down here. Just down and up. There it is. Down and up. Now what's interesting, now this is, you can see the, the solidness of this drawing, whoever did this. And they might have done it on a computer. It's a really solid drawing. There's a little bit of a of a little bit of an echo or, or a cheek or something, just like right at the bottom, that little line that I just added right there. So, yeah, there it is. And then there's the eye. Now, if you look at the eye, there's a slight angle to it as far as an axis line. The axis line is um, there like that. I'm drawing it in with pencil first. So you can kind of get an idea where it's at and see that axis line. Here's the minor. So there's a slight angle to it as it goes back. Slight angle. And uh, I thought I saw it a little bit smaller at the top, a little bit of an egg shape. But no, it's 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 pretty close to an oval shape right in there. Let's block in the nose. Uh, there's, a, there's a nostril right there. And then we've got this other cheek right in here. I'm still kind of blocking stuff in scribbling it in this leg here the feet this as it curves around and still checking i'm checking and, and seeing how it all fits how it all fits and then once i'm happy with it then i can go dark so here we go happy with this here we go just go dark yeah nice clean one clean line. Everybody wants to draw like this without the scribbles underneath. It's uh, the scribble underneath that really holds everything together. That really, you know, you see, it just makes it easier too. It's like almost tracing. Tracing is bad. No, tracing is good. If you need to trace, tracing is fine. I mean, wherever you're at is wherever you're at. It depends on what your what you, what your purpose is, what your intention. What are you trying to do? You know, tracing is okay. I know artists that just trace. I know artists that have other artists do their work for them. <laughs> it's it's an interesting thing. Things to know what your intention is. What you, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? All right, so there it is. Well, I'm trying to learn to draw. Trying to learn to observe. There it is. Oh, I think I did the, <laughs> the my highlights. I made it smaller than it needs to be. Should have been a little bigger. That's okay. I'm not going to cry about it. Next time, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. There's the nostril. Looks like a bird or something, but a little wing underneath. But I didn't get it. All right, let's get this iguana. Let's get this uh, little cheek. These cheeks are colored. I think they're like big red. I didn't see any when I was in um, Puerto Vallarta a couple, a few months ago. I didn't see any. Iguanas. The first time I went to Puerto Vallarta, I did see iguanas. They had had a bunch, but they are yeah. They used to eat them, but they don't. Eat, you can't eat them again, and you can't eat them anymore. There, it's against the law. It's against the law. All right.
All right, all right. We got more people coming in. I else. just thought of something. Oh. You can, when you go to Washington, D.C., you can go to the National Zoo and we can draw pandas. Yeah. yeah well, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, we'll see. It'll be, uh, what time is it out there? What time is it out, out there uh, right now, um, Pearl? It's uh, 1020. 1020, yeah. The museum yeah. will probably be closed. Yeah, so, three hours different. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, well, I'll try to keep the time and um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I definitely will draw, though. We will draw with even if it's just from my phone. All right, here we go. There's a little circle right in here. There it is right there. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get the feet in here. I know there's this uh, little little fin underneath the, the iguana, but um, and this, this is actually an exaggeration of not exaggeration, but it's a, and it's kind of an example of like the toes we just did with our owl here. They do. There's more overlapping here. There's a lot more overlapping. So there's the main toe. And it's kind of like the main toe, the, the middle toe. And then there's one behind it. And let's zoom in so you can see what we're doing. There is, you want to try to get that main toe first, main middle toe. Then you got the other toe that's behind it. Like that a little bit of overlapping. And then here's some more overlapping with the this the other toe All right in front, All right in there. But notice how I, I, I have my placeholder, my placeholder, and my other placeholder over here with the other toes in the back. The other toes in the back. And then I get my angles. I can see this angle going up this way and this going up this way. And then it goes out that way, and then this goes out that way. And there's a slight curve to it, slight little push. And the thickness and thinness of it, really interesting. That's a really cute little drawing here. There we go. We should do a, uh, I don't know, I thought, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see with time. Uh, having a outing. I know there's other classes, they go actual places, and they actually draw out there. Yeah. Once you mentioned the time difference, I realized my zoo idea wasn't all that great. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good idea, though. I don't know. Definitely, I'll have pictures, maybe, of what I saw. We'll draw this. There we go. Now, there's a thickness of line. I am doing the thickness of that line. That's why I grabbed the marker, too. If I'd be here all night. Yeah, sometimes you got to know your, which tools, but this, this is good practice. I mean, anything is good when you first, because then you can really, if you drew this in pencil and try to get the thickness of line, which I've done many of times with just a pencil, um, you can appreciate, you can really appreciate when you do get like a marker, like, oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know. Eladio, the first time I went to Washington, D.C., I was in the eighth grade. It was a long uh, time ago. And we actually got a tour of the White House. Ooh. They let the tourists go. <laughs> well, Who was president? Um, um, Kennedy, I think. Kennedy, wow. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. cool. it was a long time ago. Yeah. We didn't get to see him, though. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, so there's a little fin that goes under. In fact, uh, we stayed in one of these uh, like tourist trap hotels, and they said they would never let our school go there again. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> to this day, all girls' school. Could you imagine? Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, we got half of it done. Well, not half, almost half. Really close to half, at least the front half. Still got the tail and the back legs. And uh, let's see, here we go. This leg here, this knee. Actually, this is a knee right here. The way it comes forward, that's a knee. Take a knee right in there. Super Bowl this weekend. Not a big sports fan, but I have a student that actually uh, played for the Eagles for a while. He also played for the Texans, and now he's just a free agent. But he's he's out there for some reason. He's out there. He posted something. 
former student of mine. All right, so there's uh, the knee, the leg, and then the toes. I put that toe in, but um, this toe is in the one in the front. It's usually easier to go front to back. It does come to kind of like a point. It's a little more rounded point. And then you got the other other toe right there. Look at this, two little toes, little claw toes almost. There it is. There's a little bit of a uh, belly. It does kind of come down and then up. I'll try to slow down. I think I'm going a little fast. Sorry. There, there you go. There he is, coming along, coming along. See that circle, the square, and seeing these shapes there, seeing the structure. You got to see the structure, seeing the structure. Everything's made up of shapes. And then the next step is form. These would be these would be a sphere. This would be cylinders, right? But uh, when you're first drawing, you want to see the shapes. See the shapes. And there is a difference between shape and form. How many times have I heard artists, art teachers, other art teachers mix up the two? But there is a difference. You got to know that difference. All right, here we go with the tail. I'm just whipping it in. Really, I'm just whipping the tail in. Oh, this little tail. You get that flow going, a really nice flow to the point. I actually brought it a little more forward. And then when you're doing this next line, you got to really notice the, how it tapers. You really got to taper it as it, as the as it line comes in. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. This is really important. You got to get that taper in. The first line, easy. Second line, as, you, as you're drawing it, you almost have to keep an eye on that first line. And if you need to do uh, fix it, well, you can you know fix it with some a thicker line. Uh, but um, yeah, it doesn't really give you too much leeway. You got to get that taper. Try to get that taper. If you don't get it, it's okay. Next time, there's always a, a tapered tail. You'll always have practice with other drawings. Got to forgive yourself. I know somebody had posted on. Um, they get anxious. It's okay, you know. And this is a good good thing to let, learn to let go. Learn to let go. It's like okay. Next time, I did the best I could. Maybe try it again. If you want to try to draw it again, draw it again. You know, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but sometimes it's good to, to. Okay, I didn't, I didn't like it the way it came out. I'm gonna try it again. And and you know, with the with the, we live in incredible times. You can uh, with video, we have this on video. You can watch it again, play it at your own pace, rewind it, and um, there you go. There's there's our. Our chameleon, just not chameleon, it is an iguana. We just need the um, the little wave on the back. And I can I can block it. I can actually, this would be cool. There's one right here. There's one right here. There's one right about here. There's one right about there. See, I'm just kind of planning it in. One right about there. One right about there. And then three back here. One, two, three. Let's see? And I don't have to worry, you know, I don't have to worry about um, about where they're at. I can just, now I, all I need to do is just go around my little lines. There's one there. And kind of kind of see the flow of it, the direction, but they're mostly just going up and down, up and down, up and down. And there's a thickness to them too. I can, I can get that thickness to them as well. It looks like it's, one of these. I went off a little bit. That's okay. But it helps. Right up there. There we go. Probably a little too high. Bring it down a little bit. But thicken it up. Bring this one up a little higher. So that one doesn't look like it's too far off. See, making little adjustments. There we go. Thick and thin. Look at that iguana. Super cool. Thank you for posting. All right. That's how I would break it down. Break it down. Break it down. All right. Here's our little iguana. All right. When you get anxious, draw Edward Munch's The Scream and put silly faces on him. Yeah. That's great about drawing, really, too. You can actually, uh, you know, uh, 
get into your emotions and, and uh, draw silly faces like ah and, and different things things yeah you can get anxious when when you get caught up in trying to make it perfect perfect like that song the kansas song the empty page before me now the empty page before me now all right it can be intimidating all right Ooh, the rose here comes the rose we're not gonna we're not we're just gonna draw this we're just gonna draw this rose all right let's just draw this rose we're just gonna draw it i'm not gonna break it down because it's uh i'm gonna break it down right here as we watch i'm gonna block it in as i block it in you'll see how i break it down uh all right so let's uh let's grab a pencil what's this h h pencil all right so i'm gonna have my um oval shape there's an oval shape slight angle to it right at the top zoom in see that slight oval shape went through the uh, this is just I'm just getting the structure in there right I'm just getting the structure it does go in slightly slightly slight angle in and then there's a bulb kind of like a bell shape a rounded shape and notice the height and the width right the height and the width a little bit of a bell shape it does go in slightly and then it goes out rounded around to try to get that full feel of it full feel of this rose there it is block that in bam now this is a good practice too actually i noticed that well i know there's this uh he he uh, proko proko one of my uh one of the art teachers on on youtube he has uh do a um the mushroom the mushroom the mushroom from um from from uh, mario mario kart because it has a lot of ovals in it so drawing a lot of the ovals and it's a good practice a good warm-up Getting all the little, uh, then the little ovals. I guess this is from memory, right? Drawing these, and just practice drawing this. This actually help you warm up, help you loosen up before a drawing, and get like that. There we go. There's that, and then uh, let's zoom out and get the stem and the the leaves. And that's our blocking block in blocked in. All right. So the stem, there is a slight angle to it. A slight angle to it slight angle then it curves straightens out and then comes down there's a slight blowing line let me get that in there bam bam there we go and then we got one leaf over here and it's a ta yeah, another tapered tail another tapered tail this is and uh, yeah here we go tapers to that point you kind of notice how it fits in here. I'm just kind of blocking it in. If I wanted to actually, I can make it into an oval shape, like an oval shape. There's an oval shape. Seeing that oval shape, seeing this oval shape here for this other leaf. Seeing just to, just to block it in, have a, a holder for it. Because what happens with that oval shape, then it's just kind of pushed in like a number, like a like, like an hourglass or something. One side is a little bit smaller. And it's making these observations you're observing then it comes to a point right and um and what's interesting about their uh their their the serrated edge is not accurate i don't think it's accurate i think it needs so well when we get there you'll see what i'm talking about and there is some uh thorns can't have the rose without the thorns yes you can there's some without thorns Valentine's Especially, Day. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> you can get nice chocolate ones right now. Oh, chocolate ones. Ooh. <laughs> chocolate ones with the thorns. All right, that's it. Now we're blocked it out. All right, let's. Uh, I can't stay until 9 30, but I can. I can't wait till next Thursday. This is so enjoyable, and I'll maybe post my drawings on me. To, cool. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. There's a little heart on there. Gotta go. All right, Josh. Thanks for joining us. All right, so here we go. Let's let's. This is this is the tough, tough part. All right, so um, there's there's an oval in the middle, right in here. There's an oval. All right, there's an oval shape. So that's that's it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is take that oval shape and um, and uh, let's see. Uh, I was watching the Three Stooges. Okay. So um, it does spiral out. 
okay so it spirals out so we're going to attach to this this oval shape that's right here but we're going to go from here um we're going to go from here and then we're going to go over that way so i'm going to go here on this side and then attach to that oval that i just drew like that there we go right in there so i'm attaching to it and then i'm going around it and then uh, it gets smaller as it goes in it spirals and then it goes spiral and then it goes back up in here almost like a drop it goes back up and it turns in upon itself all right there we go so i see how i did that like that there we go all right now let's get the other petals in here there's a difference between the leaves and the petals but they're related somehow i'm sure dna all right so um here we go let's get this petal from in here uh all right here we go go for, i'm gonna starting i'm starting from up here going up and then bringing that down around the front like that and then this one this pedal in the front moves up curves in curves up and goes to a point and then comes down and right on top of our now what makes this um flower rose really uh neat is the really subtle shading and the the the, the attention to the shading and subtleness which we'll try to get we'll try, try to get it's a little more advanced a little more uh, a little more of the uh, icing on the cake but we'll, we'll do it we'll do it we'll do it we'll do it shall do it we'll take our time with this one it is valentine's day you get, and that's this is a good purpose you know this is talk about purpose you're drawing for a reason that gets you through the hard stuff a lot of times i had to draw for money <laughs> draw for money draw me this i'm like all right i give you this i'm like all right and i'm like oh i'm struggling struggling right but you know you're gonna draw for a reason and sometimes uh, but then you figure it out like oh, okay you gotta sweat <laughs> sometimes you got that put that pencil mileage in there and sweat it all right so um this other leaf ciao all right we'll see you thanks for joining us peace out <laughs> all right so this leaf kind of full of this petal folds out over there we go it's right in there how long have we are we already an hour into this Do we only do how many 7:35. oh yeah less than an hour we got our third drawing in we got an owl we got our iguana we're on a rose and we're on a we're on we're on a roll all right here we go then the outside get that outside all right yeah this is this is one petal here see this is what this is is, is it's kind of like folding over it is simplified a little bit I'm going to bring this this side down. I'm going to bring that side down because uh, because I can't because it needs to not line up right there. It comes down just a little bit. And that's why I did it light. See, it, what happens here? It's um, it goes like curved like here, and then it goes up to it like a point. But it's a, it is a rounded point. Then it comes up. There we go. Like this is a petal. This is actually another petal too, but it's kind of put together. These would be two petals, but it's simplified. It is simplified to another point. And then it kind of comes around and wraps around here. There it is. So it's almost like there's two points here. But this in reality would be two points, would be two petals. Can you scoot your paper down just a hair? Yeah. Thank you. All right, there you go. So there's two points as it goes around. Now here's where we add dimension to it. These little lines right here. This is this is where you need to. And I know I've had students uh, where they uh, they sometimes they, they just do it from here, and that's okay. You want to go all the way to the edge of that oval and bring it down. 
that that gives that form and then over here as well bring that line down here i could probably put one as well there would probably be a little one because i have it curving i have it curving back but these two points right here back like that and there we go that's that's actually that's pretty much it i might have gone a little bit thicker that's okay uh, that's fine but that's that's the drawing now let's uh get those petals in there and uh, the petals are done let's get the uh the leaves the leaves the leaves on the trees the leaves okay i'm just giving it a little stem a little bit shake down i want my where's my other pencil this is my artist drawing pencil what is this okay. i don't know what this is i think this is oh here is this it no this is a colored pencil it's a uh watercolor pencil all right okay so i have my shape here now this is where i'm going to do a serrated edge all right so this this here let's zoom out a little bit there we go this one right here and i can put a little bit more shape to it if i, I need to let's see a little i can add to it see give it a little bit more form there's there's a little bit of push in, ins and outs and then see how it's attached there it is make sure it kind of got that get it light before you get it right all right, there we go. Now it's I'm happy with it where it's at. And uh, I'm going to add that serrated edge. I'm going to go in and then I'm going to go back. In and back. In and back. Kind of like kind of like let's go bigger. Kind of like this. All right, cuz that's a little bit more how that serrated edge kind of goes. Goes out and then in. Out and then in. Uh, they did they have it uh, i don't know almost like scribbly and almost like points going out but uh i've seen and i've drawn roses before so it, they do kind of actually curve a little bit more like that than in there we go that's that's more more like it right there all right all right let's do that yeah theirs is all over the place so that's okay for ours isn't exact or even too far that was really far actually but one in the middle <laughs> i'm just going on the line i'm just gonna go this. here we go get the feel of that as it comes up comes to a point and that back Let's start from the other side do the same thing here we go I already have the shape. I'm just going on the shape with all this detail. It's all all this confusing detail. People see, I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm not worried about making it exact. I'm I'm worried about the shape of it. But you know, there we go. That's it. And then there's a line down the middle. It comes up and through it, right in there. And then right there we go. Bam. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Ever since we drew McConaughey. All right. All right. <laughs> it's all good. There we go. All right. Let's get the other other leaf. <laughs> the other leaf. Yeah. It's going to say feather. All right. Same thing, too. I'm going to go one way, bring it back slightly that way. And just going across the shape. All the way to the point. And then the other way. Wherever you feel more comfortable, if you need to come back that way or go out this way, I think I feel a little more comfortable going this way myself. <laughs> All right. all right all right there we go and then we've got um uh, we got this centerpiece going and curving down that's it 
All right, that's that's uh, pretty much it. There is a thickness to that stem. Let's make it a little a little stronger. The the light I can see is coming from the right. The light is coming from the right. So this left side is the one that's dark. The left side is dark. As it comes down, the left side is dark. My good, left side is dark. Now, all that's left is the shading. We're gonna start from the top and bring it down. We're gonna start from the top. We're gonna start shading this. Um, and let's clean this up a little bit too. So I'm gonna clean this up. All my little scribbles. Let's clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. All right, just a second. All right, it in. It's just hold on one second. Oops. All right, I'm back. Here we go. All right, we're gonna get to the shading of this. Uh, this is an interesting shading. It's a good, like a little shading exercise. All right. Um, they do do an edge. I mean, they, they have a, that line edge. And it's really, really, there's really subtle and soft shading, really subtle and soft shading. Um, they do have a line. Oh, actually that, and that line is probably lighter too. I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit. Lighten it up. And I drew it already. Kind of dark. Lighten it up. So um, there's a lot of gradients. A lot of gradients. So uh, right at this edge, and I'm just slowly and, and with little circles shading it up. Right. The edge is sharp. And then here, I just slowly, just little circles, really soft, and I lighten it up as I go out. I lighten it up as I go out. Okay, so right at the edge is dark. And then here, I slowly, softly bring it out. If you need to um, use a tissue or whatever to soften this up, you can. But right at the edge is dark, and then as it comes out, it lightens up, lightens up right and this is where definitely pencil control really dark at that edge and we're actually getting rid of that edge we're really getting rid of that edge we're actually making more of a rendering here this is an outline right there that outline i wouldn't do if i was really doing a true rendering but here this is where you're really getting a rendering because here we're not using lines we're using edges this is an edge now that line becomes an edge Right, and there's a difference. There's a difference. See, notice how that pops right in there. All this is just shaded right in there. And I'm just making little circles, lighten it up as it comes out here, really soft as it comes around, really soft, soft. I need to smoothen it out. You can smoothen it out with your finger, but um, pencil control is best if you can get pencil control. So you bring that line around. Better than switching pencils? Uh, you can switch pencils. If you have an H uh, or a lighter pencil, that's fine. Um, yeah. When you're first learning, anything kind of works. But you really do want to, yeah, so you can switch pencils. Get to your um, H, H pencils. that into one piece and there is uh, more of a shadow on this side too so i'm going to bring some of the shading a little bit higher on this side and actually i'm going to you know what i'm going to um ooh, i'm going to soften this edge as well this this side this makes it more of an edge as well and more of a rendered and actually that would probably be good to to do on this side too as well they have it i'm going to soften this one side the inside just soften it up just a little bit. 
There we go. See, that makes it more of a rendering. Softening up the inside. The outside is a sharp edge. The inside, just slightly soften it up. Soften it up as it goes there. There we go. Oh, yeah. I like it. Nice and soft. There it is. And then on this side, I'm going to shade it. I'm going to shade it on this side all in one shade just one the lightest shade i can get but the whole side of this petal that whole side of that petal i'm just shading it now this is a, a exercise we usually really don't do uh, as far as values and, and shading because it does take longer this is putting the icing on the cake all right now i'm going to go even darker right at this edge because i want contrast right now it's, i flattened all this out it's all flat it's all flat one value but right at this edge it goes darker so I'm going to push a little bit harder, push a little bit harder right at this edge and make that contrast, that difference, the spice of life contrast. Everything was the same. It would be monotonous. It would be boring. We want contrast. We want to show it a difference. There you can see I pushed that right there, that whole edge. Now I'm going to soften it up so you can see that change. Things aren't black and white. There's a range of of values a range of shades you get that soft soften it up soften that edge up now see i'm just softening it up it's going back and forth with little circles oh look at that look at all that outside and uh yeah we can soften this line too i can i'm getting rid of this line as well i'm gonna soften this one up to right there right at that edge see soften it up got rid of that line there we go that's good all right let's uh bring it in bring it in bring it in bring it in all right so uh, i'm gonna shade all this in here just slightly this inside part just a flat that's a flat shade actually i can i can go darker as it comes down on this side a little bit darker on this side yeah, as it goes in, because there's a, it's called occlusion, occlusion shadow, because the the light doesn't hit it as much. It's not really a shadow; it's occlusion. It's it, hmm. yeah. There you go, right in there. There's that, and then do the same thing for this one. Go really dark. Actually, the way they have it, I'm just observing. Goes really dark, and then kind of, and then right in there, a little bit light. Contrast, contrast. All right, here we go. And I think I, I did my my center a little bit too the too much to the left. That's okay. That's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna shade this side here, and then shade it over here. And again, nice and soft. Try to get that sharp edge on one side, and then on the other side, soften it up, soften it up, soften it up, soft. Again, you can use tissue, lighter pencil, until you get pencil control. Yeah. That's it. There it is. I'm just going over it. Nice, soft. There it is. Bam. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of shade on this side. I'm going to leave a little bit of reflected light. It doesn't have a reflected light. But a reflected light, a bounce light on, on that left side gives you a little more contrast. So I'm not starting my shading right at the edge. I'm going to just put a little bit of shading there and then bring that back because it's rounded. This is a cylinder. And then right about halfway, is just start lightening it up. There we go. Bam. Look at that. And I can, I can get rid of a little bit of that reflected light a little bit or soften it up. Depends. But look at that. Bam. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's uh get some um, the other other ones. Oh, actually, let's I'm I'm it's still doing this inside part. This inside part I'm shading in here because that edge actually was producing probably like a shadow on that cylinder. And that's coming from this petal onto that and then uh you can soften it up 
Okay, I'm softening the sound. That was sharp, and I'm just going over it. Just soften up that edge on the inside, on the inside, softening it up as it comes up. Yeah, there we go. And I just got rid of that line. And this line, this line became an edge now. And up here, it's a line as well, up in this corner. It's a line. So I'm going to just bring all that darkness in, just bringing it in. See, I'm just uh, one side is becomes the edge and the inside becomes that same shading you want contrast if you have it in the same value against the same value um you know it won't show up so on their drawing it's darker on the inside so i can push darker on the inside and then push it back darker on the inside and then giving that see right there oh that other value the alley art show the alley art show is coming i think it's next week alley art show in i think it's at it's, it's usually at the uh, staples center but it's not the staples center anymore the convention center i'm going to soften that out as it comes down soften it up that is soften just a really slight shade if you have different pencils that would be great get your h's out harder pencils if you don't, that's okay. Try it with, uh, you know, with whatever you have. All right. I'm going to do the same thing on this whole edge side, this side too. So maybe zoom out a little bit. Should we zoom out? Yeah, right there. That's good. Ah. I should probably rename myself. Yeah. I don't know. I, was, I never, I never remain, rename myself. All right. Here we go. All right, so on this side, there's really it's really kind of almost like flooded out, but I want to soften this side as well, this whole side here. Uh, it's really just the inside. And just uh, have it just really subtly make it an edge. Really subtle, soft shading. Does make it. There we go. See, that looks like an edge. We're getting rid of the lines, We're making it a more of a rendering. There's still some lines. That's okay. That's the, this original one does too, but this is all next level. If you've never done this before, it's, you might be struggling a little bit. It's okay. You're dancing. You should be doing that dance, the dance between fun, flow, and frustration. Fun, flow, and frustration. You always want to be a little bit in the flow. Actually, a lot of bit in the flow. Or you're just in the flow. You lose track of time. And then sometimes a little bit in the challenge. A little bit of that frustration. Like, oh, I'm trying to get this. Trying to get this. Trying to get this shading. Until it becomes flow. Then it becomes fun. You want to have a little bit of it all. If, you, if you're too much in one area, other than flow, then the, the, main, the mainstream should be flow. It should kind of just be in the flow. Be in the flow. A little bit of challenge, a little bit of fun. All right, here we go. So the light is coming from the this right side, right side. This line is is a little, yeah, we'll do the same thing. I'll just blend it back. A little bit of blend. I'm going from right to left. I usually go from left to right. That's all good. That's all good. And I go left to right because it helps me. I don't <laughs> I don't put my hand on what I've shaded already. So I'm going left to right. If you're left-handed, you would probably want to go from right to left. If you're right-handed, you want to go from left to right. Yeah. Left to right. Right left to right or you can also get another sheet of paper so you don't so you don't smudge your work you can do that but we're pretty good we're pretty good it's not not that far off and it does go darker on that edge or there is a more of a line yeah i like mine right there that's fine i can huh nah. just leave it you can have more little contrast, more contrast. Yeah, more contrast. 
more cowbell he says more contrast <laughs> so let's do a little darker i'm gonna go a little bit darker on this side push it to darkness there we go and then soften it up soften it up i already have it a shade there so it makes it easier just kind of shade into it there we go shade that a little bit darker and now we have that contrast got rid of that line a little bit as it comes down there we go then here ooh, we have shadow i'm gonna actually make it more of an intentional shadow i'm gonna actually copy this this way like that get all fancy right in there see that's gonna be all my shadow of this petal kind of like coming forward and i'm just gonna add a quick shade to it i'm gonna just just a quick flat shade to it there then i'm going to bring that same shade around around this side like right in here this side look at that that half looks like the letter b bait now let's go all in here shade it shade it shade it getting rid of that line making it an edge one side's hard the other side's soft there we go. Yeah, what makes this one, it, it, it is taking a little bit longer, but we're really being careful with the shading. Same thing with in, in any detail. But yes, it is the Valentine. All right, so I'm going to soften this up even more that I have here. I have this edge here. I'm going to soften that up as much as I can because it's really a line, an edge. I want to get rid of that edge here. I'm going to just go over it and try to soften it up. So you actually get that edge gets lost a little bit. And then actually bring this edge up a little bit darker. Oh, I might have to go in there with my eraser to lighten it up. I just might have to. This side's dark, coming out to the light. Dark, 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 dark on this side, dark on the dark on the right. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in there with my eraser. Lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, I went too, too dark. That's all right. Make these little adjustments. Go in with my kneaded eraser. Lighten it up. I can actually even um, same get it lighter as well with a piece of um, tissue paper. i just lighten it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Slightly. Just a little, little, a petal kiss. <laughs> there we go. Now here, I'm going to try to blend all this as one piece. Little circles, little circles. Not a lot of hatching. Hatching is when you shade hatch marks like this. Hatch, you get your hatch, hatch marks. This, I'm doing little circles. Just really softening, soft, getting that edge soft. And maybe even, I don't know, probably even shade it all because it's, it should be in shadow. And I'm actually doing all that in hatch. Just hatch that whole thing. There we go. And soften it up, soften it up, soften it up. All right, I'm softening things up. I'm bringing up that shade a little more too. Softening. There we go. All right, all right there's there look at that rose all right here we go let's start with the stem one side's going to be dark right down the middle almost and it blends out so the first the, the left side's dark 
and then it gets lighter as it comes out to the middle and uh, yeah let's see that that's it right there it's halfway halfway through it halfway through that whole stem and then this um the thorn it's darker on the edges and then it goes light to the middle light to the center there we go bring that again try to keep the edge sharp on the outside and then on the inside it 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 goes lighter it blends it's a gradient a gradient it's a gradual change a gradual change a gradient like you're graduating yeah so it's gradual sometimes when i was trying to get students to do gradual and, and let them understand gradual it's like okay so you're, you're jumping from fifth grade to tenth grade you need some you need sixth grade in there you need seventh grade the gradations gradual you're graduating all right so like here actually this is actually nice this oval that i drew in here this oval um is going to kind of make this side shaded on this leaf let's bring it up right in here this this half i'm going to shade it really light get that light shade in there and then um same things going on with all this stuff it, my my scribbles here um the edges are darker and it goes from the outside in so and then there's um see that these these leaf shapes the, these should go out they have them going actually in reverse they have them going this way and i've done it myself i've done it no i can't i'm not gonna lie um these these leaves i this uh these kind of stems they go out and they do alternate like that and i don't think they have them alternating they have them going yeah so this is this is good uh, uh observational drawing you gotta observe and see what's there and don't take my word for it you know draw it yourself you really see an actual rose that would be that's your homework <laughs> see don't just draw here on once a week you got to be drawing more regularly you got to make it a habit you gotta have you want to have it you got a habit have it build that habit draw every day even if it's just like five minutes ten minutes once our videos are up We'll have five minute videos. We'll draw real quick. Now I'm just softening stuff up. I'm shading, I'm not actually describing it. I'm really not. We get these little bumps. So what they have basically, they do have these lines that kind of go through it. And then they're going from the outside dark to the inside light. And I'm deviating from that just slightly. So you do you, boo. Just make it just a little bit of shade. What makes this, it's just kind of like an airbrush where you have a sharp edge and then you spray it to, to, to bring it, or even pastels, you get those soft shades one going to another one shade going to another gradually where you don't see the change just like really soft petal petal. going darker in the middle here see i can go darker this whole side i'm going to go darker pushing it just pushing it a little harder pencil control so is the ultimate goal like the ideal to just use one pencil through the whole thing? Um, not necessarily. No, I mean you can. I I do it a lot. Uh, <laughs> I do it a lot. But um, you're really good, though. No, oh, thanks. Now the, the the thing is, um, you you want to um, know your pencil. If if you are using a hard pencil and you you're trying to you know get it dark, uh, you, you'll get your your paper will be shiny. Your paper will be shiny, so you need to, you know, um, use the right pencil at the right time. You know, like here, this is, you know, 
and and understanding value and stuff. We've been getting into values lately, but um, no, I, I do use. <laughs> I don't like switching pencils too much, but um, yeah, no, if, especially when you when you actually I don't know you'll you'll get to know your materials, and and what you're trying to get. I don't worry too much in the beginning. You just really just want to get structure. All this, all this stuff right here with this shading stuff. This is all just um, uh, the icing on the cake. We're just really just putting the icing on the cake, and really shouldn't even focus on this when you're first starting off. You just really should focus on 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 structure drawings, getting your structure structure. Like um, like let me see where else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but we have been doing a lot of shading lately. Yeah, like even here we did some shading. Yeah, here this is this is more structure. Yeah, so you seeing the structure. Ah, bring it down. Are you talking about the way that one shape on that, like the oval, relates to the circle, that sort of thing? Yes, yes, the structure, the oh, the shapes, the the form. Yeah, don't worry about shading. Don't. It's like seeing everything in not even black and white, because we're even like this is uh, the next level would be color, the next level, uh, the next element would be color, but you want to just learn to see the shapes and learn to see form, and then and then all that other stuff can come later, um, or you can do it at the same time. But um, you know, a sketchbook should be just a sketchbook, just like practicing. There's like, okay, where's my shapes? Look for shapes. You know, okay, I'm gonna want to draw this. Okay, what shapes do I see? Oh, okay, I see it's a square, but no, there's angles to it, right? It's almost square, same height, same width. Oh, well, look at that triangle nose, right? There's a triangle there, and seeing how it all fits, and 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 that's what you should be showing. You shouldn't be worrying about the the shadows and the lights and the darks. Although you know, next level you could. I mean, it's really up to where, depending on where you're at. I mean, I, I can't like it's like me trying to give everybody the same medicine. You got to know where you're at. And and um, and with my lessons, <laughs> once they're once they're up, actually, I, actually, that would be a good thing to do right now. Take a break after this and, and show uh, my website where I'm what I'm working on and the lessons that would you would go through uh, on the website. And you would just go through the lessons and, and you know, you, you can it can be a focus. You're, you're focusing on on that thing. So that's what you're focusing on. That's what your focus is. And you go through a stage. If you focus on something for a long time, it, you go through that stage and, um, you know, until it becomes automatic, you reach a level of automaticity and you don't think about it. You just do it. You just do it. And that's that's the level you want to kind of reach. You're just doing it without thinking about it, just like you're breathing and it's it's automatic. One of the sides of the leaf here is darker. That's actually the ultimate thing you should be reaching, where it just becomes automatic. You have your setup. I don't know. My granddaughter goes in here. All of my pencils got everywhere. So I'm just working with an H, not even my HB. Whatever it takes. I mean, you 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 gotta almost have a, a something you're aiming for, something you know you want to aim for. That's why um, it's a good goal to to have something that you're trying to draw, and then the next level, even after that, is drawing from your imagination, drawing from memory. I'm gonna draw this rose again from memory. All right, cool. That really builds uh, other muscles. A lot of people just copy, but you, you really got to work on those other muscles. Um, we do a lot of observational drawing, but you really want to work on your um, drawing from memory and drawing from from uh, actually creating your own, creating your own, yeah, 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 from imagination. Yeah, because drawing from memory is just one level next to drawing from imagination. All right, softening up these edges. Just going from the outside in as lighter as it comes in. One side is darker. And the left side. I'm trying not to uh, make this too much of a line as well. I'm going to, um, the center part, all these veins on the, 
And these are these are really like bubbles. I mean, if you ever really observed and drawn a leaf, they, they kind of like they kind of like a curve. They, they bubble up. I'm not doing a great job of it right now. <laughs> it's all good. It's, it's good. Good enough. There we go. Yeah, like right there. Boom. Pushing that back. There's pencil control. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah, it's 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 just you gotta do that pencil mileage. You gotta. And there we go. All right. I just need um have to clean up the stem and we're done with this rose. Rose, rose, rose. Let's take a look back. That's looking not too shabby. Clean this up a little bit. There we go. Also do that that uh, change. Because this is, uh, what this is, is a cylinder. It's a cylinder. This little stem is a cylinder. And that's the next level, seeing form. Seeing form. Ooh, we had pictures. Alan had a picture of um, of a flower, I think, with with um, oh the little water drops uh, droplets on it. Yeah, that would be we <laughs> Yeah, we had water droplets. Putting some of these water droplets on there. Yeah, that would be. Woo, be here all day, all night. <laughs> we'll be here all night. But yeah, that's. I mean, we can't. There we go. We could. We could. But we'd lose some of you. We'd be in that uh, frustration. All right, there we go. I don't know if we'll, we'll take a little break. If anybody wants to share their drawings, you can share your drawings. Uh, HP mechanical pencil and a soft one. All right, that's that's good. The mechanical pencils, though, sometimes you got to be careful with those. Uh, it's hard to get sometimes shading because they're always sharp. Mechanical pencils are always sharp. So, um, you know, you really have to almost, um, with your mechanical pencil, really push it push it down to... to uh, it depends on too of the thickness of that mechanical pencil. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, we got some. Is that new chat? Uh, the, the trick to do is to do the contour drawing with the mechanical pencil, uh, and then take the big fat soft pencil you got at Disneyland Animation <laughs> Academy for the shading. Yeah, yeah, that works too. That's what I, I do. Ah, sweet. Yeah, I have one of those kindergarten pencils and I'm just kind of trying to learn the control with it. Yeah, that's good. And that's good too with a big pencil too because um, you, it, it gives you soft edges when you're like, you can really uh, sketch something in and then and then delineate afterwards, you know, um, delineate. All right, I don't see any hands up. We can just, I think we can jump to the next. Uh, oh, we got uh, the, the Simpsons, Simpson cartoons here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do all of them. It's already 8.15. And we got this. Oh, it's a puma. I think it's a puma. I'm missing that feline. And we got the elephant. Those definitely will take a little bit longer. Oh, actually, you know what? Ooh, this is actually be a good um, transition. This is a, a, I can do, th we can do this uh, as a break. This is going to be actually taking it a step back. This is a wall. Oh, Kutcher, you have your hand up. I don't know. Someone looks like it said somebody has had their hand up. Oh, okay, Ina. Uh, let me see. Hi, I thought oh. we were sharing. So yes, 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 yes. Nobody, I didn't see a hand. There you go. Oh, sweet! Look at that. All that's on one. Great. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said that's great. I like how you put shadows on them. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Inspire everybody else. And that's the thing. Don't want to, don't want to, don't compare to despair. Don't say, oh my gosh, Ina has been here for a while. She's been drawn for a while. So, you know, the thing is, it's good to see what other people do and, and, uh, and, and, and get in, inspire. They can, you, you can do it too. I see you. I mean, you're giving each other like in the chat. Great job, Ina. All right. Okay. So let me share my screen real quick. There you go. There it is. Well, just we're going to do this uh, wall here. There's a little brick in the wall. Oh, we got Maria. Uh, we'll do it real quick. It'll be a real quick uh, drawing. But uh, Maria, if you'd like to share. Uh, you have to uh, put your camera on. Three. 
two, one, your hand was up. All right. It's well, not giving me access. I'm sorry? It's not giving me access to the camera. Oh, oh really? Oh, sorry about that. It's okay. Next time. All right. Next time. We'll figure it out. Okay. So with this one, this is a, um, a cracked wall with the bricks behind it. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to just simplify it. We're going to do it really quick. Um, so there's really just all kinds of cracks, but uh, I'm going to do, see, I'm drawing this circle here and I've got this other circle here and just to, just to get that shape in there. And then it, then all kinds of other stuff happens, but I have that kind of like shape going on. Um, it kind of goes in. Now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, but I, I start off with this, like this lazy eight kind of shape. And then from here, I'm just going to just kind of, it doesn't really matter, but I'm kind of just going to go around. And this would be good to kind of do kind of like a blind contour. Blind contour is like when you're drawing um, without looking at your paper. You're just really looking at and observing what you see. And uh, because it really doesn't matter, but it you get a lot more information and detail by looking and uh, what you're drawing, but not looking at your paper. That's what makes it blind, blind contour. You're just getting the line, and you're mostly looking at um, the what you're trying to observe, because that gives you all this information. You can do this with your hand as well. Uh, when you're looking at your drawing your hand, and you're just looking at your hand, but not look at your paper. So you're just looking at your hand, and you're you're um, you know, and it's going to be all abstract. It's kind of like one of the hardest exercises to do because everybody wants their drawings to look pretty, but this will give you like really terrible looking pictures but it really helps you with your uh, observational drawing all right so there's my uh, hole in the wall i'm going to go ahead and draw the bricks in there uh, this is like the hole uh, i'm just going to draw the bricks in the background uh, they're just uh, parallel lines just going from one side to the other one side to the other trying to keep them parallel that one got a little close there and they've got that going on as well i'm just going to go across 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 try to get them to be the same consistency the same thickness consistency is key here with exercise with drawing you got to be consistent regular build those habits it makes it easier too when you have because you just you have it you just do it right but when you're first doing something it's kind of hard First picking up smoking, it's it's hard, but then it becomes a habit, a bad habit. You want me to get into good habits. <laughs> he said smoking, yeah, I said smoking. <laughs> All those bad habits, sometimes, yeah, sometimes they do happen instantly. Your brain goes, huh, what's this? I'm like, uh, not good for you, but it's not. <laughs> Candy, Candy will do the same too. Your brain lights up. Bam, it's like, oh, okay. if you when you see kids, when you first give them candy, it's like, oh, they're like, oh, what is this magical stuff? Mario, I kind of missed what you were doing because I was trying to pull up the picture. Uh-huh. Oh. So yeah. how how did you start? How did you get to this point already? <laughs> <laughs> really quickly. Uh let me see. I, I just I just blocked it in with I just two circles. I kind of saw two circles here. So I just did one circle and then another circle. And then I was talking about blind contour drawing. Uh blind contour drawing. Blind contour drawing is just um, you know, drawing what you see uh by looking at it, but not looking at your paper. So I kind of just I did a semi-blind contour drawing where I just kind of looked at what's up there and just getting some of the information and just kind of just just went with it, went awesome. with yeah just just kind of like going around and I mean, talk uh, about drawing a map right that looks like that could yeah. be a country Oops. yeah yeah it sure does oh i didn't even mention maps uh, that was that was another good exercise yeah. talking about good exercise yeah all these exercises i'm gonna uh, eventually one day get them onto videos and i'll, I'll show actually ooh, i need to show that too right next the uh, our web page and get all these exercises on there and you can take your time with them. Anyways, but that's blind contour drawing. I just did that. That's how I did that. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I... It's all good. Thank you. All right. And then um, we did the uh, parallel lines for the bricks. And these bricks, uh, there's a little bit of rhyme and reason to them. There should be. 
Let me see there. I'm going to do this one right here. I'm going to start with this one line. Skip a row. And these should line up. Any good bricklayer has these line up, line up. So you want to have these kind of like line up as you kind of go up. Do one, skip one, do one, skip one as they go up. And then here's where you got to really think about the thickness of the brick, how wide this brick is. And uh, here we go. And be consistent because, yeah, a machine, well, not, well, I would say kind of like a machine. They have, they have little, little uh, different ways of making bricks, but I've seen them actually where they actually have like these um, uh, uh, little boxes. They just fill them with dirt or mud and, and then they just, um, let them dry out and they, they, they have these consistent but the, the key is the point is that all the shapes are consistent consistent because it's kind of like done mechanically there's other ways to do them too there's concrete bricks there's other kind of bricks but this thickness of this brick there we go that all the way up that's the thickness of that brick and then we would uh, find the center of that and then do that center. There we go, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And still, and you want to keep that thickness. So from here, you can take that measurement. Here, say I'm using my pencil as a measurement, bringing it over, saying, okay, there it is, right there. Bring that brick over. And again, do one, skip one, do one, skip one, do one trying to be consistent like here i know i can see that my bricks getting a little bit thinner in that area all right and here again the center right there there's the middle do one skip one do one skip one and it's almost uh, actually there are some zentangles that are like this zentangle design speaking of zentangle designs there we go um, here's that same thickness right over here right in there and we can actually work on the shading for this too i mean the shading i would i would shade all of this i would shade all this one shade just to push it all back really quickly these are fun to do in class, I would do these in notebooks. <laughs> Don't do it in the books themselves. And then there's shadows, the shadow, the shadow news, where the light is hitting. And then the, the bricks themselves, I'm trying to get that form in there. Uh, rough enough, roughing them up a little bit. And, and uh, putting little bits of shadows in there and stuff like this. I just all gave it all one quick shade now i'm going in here and adding little like here you can see I, I, i'm opening this up a little bit rounding these edges because bricks get beaten up sometimes and sometimes they beat them up on purpose uh, i've seen them they put them in like a, this wheelbarrow kind of thing this rolling thing so they can give them some character and that's how you get character <laughs> you roll around in a wheelbarrow they're getting beaten up. Yeah. Oh, and then they, they spray cement and paint on them to give them little specks. And... Whoa. All right. And yeah, these have cracks and stuff like that. I mean, just drawing them there, all these little details. But the details go last. See how the details it looks like? Wow, you know, we're just putting all this detail stuff in here, and all this detail stuff. Like, wow, look, how long did that take? But you can see we got the structure. This is why structure is really a lot more important. Once you see the structure, and then you can just put in the detail, the detail, and and uh, it looks like wow, <laughs> how long did it take you to do that? And you can see this has only been like what five minutes worth of drawing here, but. Um, but I can see the parts, the parts in the hole. I can see the big parts, the little parts, and go back and forth. Here, add some shadows because this is sticking out. Yeah. There we go. 
Light's hitting that. This is coming up. Kind of like a pedal. Yeah, on this right side. And usually light comes from the top down. So this this wouldn't really have too much of a shadow. You can probably just push it back a little bit, but the shadow would be here on this left side. Let me see. Start pulling the eye. And you can really start putting more shadows like on the bottom of each brick, like right in here, put like like light shadow under each brick. That gives it more form. Like that. A little bit more form. And then on the left side, ooh, on the left side of each brick as well. That gives it a little more form. Look at that. It's just doing that over and over here in this bottom part. We don't need no education, education. We don't need no thoughts control. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teacher, leave those kids alone. I got to see that, and I, I, I didn't think I'd ever get to see that in concert. The actual wall thing, they brought it back, and there it was. All right, more little cracks here and there. Uh, you can you can be here all night, but uh, you get the gist. You get the gist. Any little details, little 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 rocks, little little stuff here and there. That's that's the gist of it. All right. You can keep drawing to your heart's content. Let's see what's next. Oh, yes, we have the um, the Simpsons. The Simpsons. Then we got some animals. All right. Let's see. Let's start off with the, um, the cat. I'm going to draw these pretty quick. I just want to draw these really quick. It's already 830. I want to draw these really quick. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to draw these really quick. So if you can, I don't know, depending on what level you're at, it's already 8.30, so you guys are hardcore heroes here, hardcore heroes. I'm going to draw these really quick, so um, I'll put I'll put that in the chat here. I'll put the uh, cop, the image address in the chat, and here's the cat. Here goes the cat first. All right, so I've got the head and then the body. See the, the head? Here's the head. The body in relation to the, the head, it's kind of almost like resting on it. I can see the ratio of it. See that ratio. And I am drawing light. And then we've got the tail that kind of comes up right up in there. See, there's the, the body. And then the feet right under that. Kind of the same. I'm noticing, that, you know, here's the body. Here's the feet. About the same. 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 Uh, probably, ooh, the neck is a little bit longer. Now that I'm looking, I'm going to push this all back slightly. Pushing this back slightly. See all this? And it's easy just to push back. There we go. Making that adjustment. Yeah, because it's got a long neck this way. There we go. Now I see it. All this is a uh, nugget. Here's the other leg. There's one leg here, another one right here, and the other two back here. Now, ooh, there's uh, angles to it. There's an angle to the feet, a little bit of angles. One's closer, a little bit of perspective. So we're looking at it from this direction up that way, up that way. You can see this angle where the feet are. are. Really important to, to see that those angles. All right, let's do this. Here's my head. Break it down a little bit while I'm here. Uh, one eye here, one eye right about there. One's a little bit higher. And then bam, there, let's go. All right, really great lesson. Thanks. Uh, I'll dream about that wall now. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. That's good. Good. Dream about the wall. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's this eyeball. I kind of sketched them in. I'm not, uh, yeah, we're going a little bit faster. So 
It is 8.30 now. Oh, which which cat are you drawing? I'm drawing the Simpsons cat. Okay. Uh, it's in the chat. Well, I'm going to go to the, um, I'm going to look it up on, on the meetup page. All right. Now this other eye, there's the nose is overlapping this other eye just slightly, just slightly. So, um, and it's a little bit smaller. I'm looking at the distance between the two eyes as well. I can make still make adjustments right here. Make it a little bit closer, a little further away. I think that's good. And that's good right there. And that's it right there. And then this nose does slightly overlap. And I'm looking at the ratios, how big they are compared to each other, the proportions. Um, this is, this is uh, um, I didn't describe it too much because we're already here uh, a little more advanced, I guess. And here's the uh, pupils. They are kind of like more of an oval shape. We're going to do it like that. Oops. That little cheekbone. Then his infamous, his infamous lip to Matt Groening is famous for this. This is this famous lip. He actually had other cartoons, uh, Life is Hell. Here in Pasadena, he's from Pasadena. He would draw, and his cartoons had this lip. Let's see this lip like that. Infamous. Bottom lip here, and then curves out. There we go. Look at that. Bam. Hair right in there. Here, up in here. Oops, let's zoom out. The hair up here, right in there. I'm sketching it in lightly. See, I'm sketching it in lightly. I'm seeing the space, sketching in light real quick. And then once I look back and forth and like it, if I don't, I fix it. But I'm, oh, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and draw darker. See, let's go bam. There's, there's that cat. All right, uh, we'll just draw the dog. I don't know about the Simpsons, the rest of them. We've got other drawings that we're going to be drawing. It's already getting, it's already uh, 835. There we go. He's a sad cat. He's got his mouth is turned down. He's got some teeth. There's one tooth right here. And then there's another tooth over here. That's, that's pretty, pretty close. Because eyes could have been a little bit wider. I'm looking back and forth. And they could have been a little bit wider. Not a big deal. I see it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Here's an oval shape, though. This is an oval shape for the for the collar. You have an oval shape in there, then another oval shape, and it's a cylinder shape. Right. So it's really, uh, but it's just the outline. So it goes up. Then straight, then round it, then back, and then up. Then you have the inside part, this part right here. <clears throat> but they don't have too much more. They just have that that part. Oh, that's that oval. And then there's two little circles on it, like little studs. One, two. There we go. There's there it is. And I think the rest is pretty pretty straightforward. That was the hard part. That was the hard part. Now the, the body. I'm looking at the body. I, I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more, a little bit more. I can see the ratio. I can see the, the height to the width. I can see that this is gonna have to come out a little bit more. I can bring easily bring those legs back. Boom, boom, boom. See where they're at. See, just added a little bit to it. See the head to the body. It probably needs to go a little bit more, but I'm gonna probably run out of space if I do that. Move the tail back just slightly. There we go. See, always checking for your proportions and your ratios and just blocking in. It really helps just get it in and then from there fix it afterwards. Move that tail. Oh. Mm 
Hilang lagi di hilang lagi di. Oh, he's got two toes. He or she. He's got two toes. One there, one there. Same thing, that overlapping. One overlapping shape over the other. And then back up like that. There we go. There we go. We got this other one. Oh, this one has three toes. There's three on this one, huh? One, two, and three. Way back here. Notice the overlapping. There it is. A little bit of space. Bring it down. Try to get that thickness. I have to thicken up this leg a little bit. And that two paws. One, two. And there it is. Bam. All right. I'm going to draw the dog even faster. <laughs> yes, even faster. Let's see. I'm going to draw this dog really fast. I'll put it in the chat. Let's see. Here he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's the name of this dog? He's got a name. Oh, you know what? I can actually even... <laughs> I'll put it both ways. I can paste it. I can... Okay, so there's there's the link, and then here's uh, copy the image, and I'm going to paste the image inside the chat as well. Oh, did it let me? Let me see, Control-V. Bam, yes, it did. <laughs> Look at that. Something I learned. See, just learn. Just learn by doing. I'm like, well, can it do it? Do you ask? And then like, it, yep, yes, it can. There's the dog. It's got some really nice flowing lines. It really does. All right, let's try to get that flow. All right, so we've got the head, definitely the head, the circle shape, right? And then the 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 nose kind of like flows right off of it, the flows right off of it, like a cornucopia. And then that circle right up there, boom! See that? See, I'm seeing that shape. Most cartoons have that that uh, circle head shape, and then um, they add on to it. Then here, the whole body just flows. You have the body that this torso. Here's the torso. The mouth is right about there. The torso, and then it goes back. It has some really nice tapered. Like, talk about a lot of tapered shapes. Really, is it? Oh, is it Santa Claus? Santa's helper? Is it Santa's helper? Is that the name's the dog's name? I think it's yeah, Santa's helper. That's the dog's name, Santa's helper. Well, there's a lot of tapered shapes on this dog. A lot of tapered shapes really sleek I think he's a race dog santa's helper santa's little helper i'm pushing the edges here i might have to make it a little small no i would if i wanted to make it fit better but it fits i'm not going to change anything And notice the feet, <laughs> where, where <laughs> as I say it, I'm off, but um, yeah, you should see how where where they relate to each other. Same thing as the cat. Oh, I think we missed one leg on the cat, the back leg here. <laughs> Let me see. There we go. Yeah, we did miss the his back foot. But same thing. Got to see the way they relate. This one's right here. See, this foot's right in there. All right, we're picking up the pace, picking up the pace, picking up the pace. Going a little faster now. Let's see, here we go. There it is. All right, I blocked him in. I'm pretty happy with where he's at. Let's get that face in there. Uh, more or less, I'm happy enough. I'm not happy with the legs. The legs are kind of like right in there. I can actually, at this stage, I can make this a little bit smaller and then make everything a little bit smaller and make it fit better i i would i would be able to do that but uh, we'll see we'll just do it all right so here's the one eye this this main eye right here this is the eye this is the main eye kind of looking at us right in here uh let's see right right about there there right that that big that spot right in there so this is the main circle right in 
that one right there. Bam. And then the eye, this one's a little bit off center, off to the left. If this is the middle, it's a little bit. It's in the middle, but just slightly to the left. Right there. Slightly to the left. It would probably be touching the middle, but it's slightly to the left. Ever so slightly. This one's definitely to the right. Now this next eye is overlapping, trying to get that same uh, same height on the top. And the bottom is a little bit smaller, but they're two of oh, just about the same size. They're about the same size. The one on the right is just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit higher up, but they're really close to being the same. There it is, right next to each other. And then this pupil, this pupil is like <laughs> a wild dog looking in a totally different direction. Well, a little more forward. That's it. This one to the left and that one a little. He has that crazy eye look. There it is. If you can get those eyes, boom, that's half the battle. Let's zoom in. As I'm, as I'm drawing it, I'm like hoping I was zoomed in, but I wasn't. And there's the eyes. All right. Then the mouth in, in relation to those eyes. Is that now I have that? And I can see this, how it all fits, how it's all kind of coming together here. There's one ear right in here, right in there, block it in. The mouth comes out to here. I can see it in relationship to that eye, right about in there. And then it attaching itself to this, this whole nose, how far it goes out. I'm pretty happy with that. Then this other ear is up in here, like a tapered tail, like a leaf, right up there. And as you draw these shapes, you'll see them over and over. I mean, you'll see them and like, oh, okay, there's that shape. Oh, it looks a little more like this. Oh, it looks a little more like that. And then you'll get into drawing from life or drawing things, not just cartoons. Although I drew cartoons for the longest time. And then I started drawing. Yeah, you got to go with where you're comfortable and then make it a challenge. Find your challenges. I stood away from hands for a while. <laughs> and then you just got to take them on. You won't get better until you practice them. You can't draw hands until you practice. I can't, can't get the cans out. You can't until you practice. So there's that ear. See, I got the outside, and then the inside is just, all it is is just a little thing like that. A little bend. There's that ear. There's this other ear. As it comes and attaches itself to that head, and then pull to the body. Let's get this. Uh, oh, this tongue in here. This tongue is sticking out. Comes down. It's so right about in there. See how all this scribbling stuff? I'm just, I can scribble all, all there and then see. Okay, use my imagination and see it there. And this is overlapping too, kind of like the pause. This this part of the tongue. It goes this way, and then behind it is that other part, like right in there. There, see how it goes. Pull, pull. And then this bottom part of that tongue just kind of curving there. I'm going to write a rat. All right. We got 11 people here hanging in there, hanging in there. And then, oh, uh, I might have to bring this mouth up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that mouth up a little bit because there's, oh, there's some space there. There it goes. All right, here we go. There it is. And you can see the lights and the darks in here too. It's not just, you can see it has shadows and stuff. I'm not going to do the shadows. I'm just going to draw it out and shade it in, shade in the nose at least. I'll leave a little bit of a highlight. And then in here, there's a little bit of a line. 
the inside of the mouth and all this is shaded. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Santa's little helper. Look it up, Santa's little helper. Let's see. Santa's little helper. Help, help, helper pictures. Nope, <laughs> that's him. He, there was other pictures that showed up. Yeah, there he is though. That's his name. Actually, it's exactly it's the it's the exact same picture. Share my screen. There it is. That's the one. But you know, all right. Let's finish him up. The rest of the body. The rest of the body just flows. It really just flows. You got to go with the flow. See now here, uh, the neck starts right here, but then it goes in and then down. So you already had it drawn there, but it's from here down, and then up, and then back. Right. Try to capture that flow of that line, even though this leg is in front of it. Legs in front of it, and then it goes around. Then this one is attached as well. Yeah, doing it all kind of crude. That's all right. More drawing, more drawing, more cowbell. Ooh. Yeah, I can bring this foot up. That's better. See, that actually matches that. These should be kind of lined up anyways. Bring it up a little more. these are great shapes to try to get that taper really notice the taper of these shapes the one line is going to be easy the second line to make the shape you got to see how it tapers how it goes from thick like right here the the pelvis it goes thick and then it goes thin and then it goes thick again because this drops down this whole torso drops and this back is a little straighter and then the tail at the end let's draw that other leg back here oh a little scribbly a little scrawny oh you can see his bones too All right there one two three Send us a little helper. Let's erase this. A little overlapping. Bam. Bam. There he is. Santa's little helper. Rough. A rough drawing. <laughs> rough. All right. Let's, well, this one's got shadows afterwards. There we go. All right. All right. Let's see what's next. 851. We got another, oh, this is I'm clicking away. I'm like, why are we seeing Christmas pictures? Oh, that's a cool one of Bart. I like that one. But I think we're Simpson just out. It was a really nice beach scene. I do that in watercolors, but it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it is, and we can shade it in. I don't know. Uh, we should probably take it a, a vote. As to what we're going to draw next, batteries are getting a little low here. I mean, maybe I need a stretch. But uh, there we've got this one pretty straightforward. It's just values. I've seen those values. Ah, this, yes, definitely. We'll draw the, this one and the, the elephant. Yeah, this will probably take us all night. That'll probably be it. Those two drawings. Yeah, that I like that one too. I don't know if the people who, let's see if that person is here yeah, and that's it and then, then that's it we can simplify that one we got a lot we got a lot of drawings we got a lot someone done. added a figure drawing or well three people somebody did yeah oh, okay. kind of nice i'm gonna refresh a refresh let's see what they added they added what uh, 
Oh, no, they're not here. We refresh again. Hmm. And that sanguine one you added was, was really good. But, uh, that, oh, there it but, is. Ah, with perspective. Oh, Constanza did that. Yeah, these are good. You can tell the style. This is like old style. Yeah, it's got just perspective in there. Oh, oh it was just that one. Yeah, the troll doll is for figure drawing. <laughs> Somebody was trolling. Yes, he, he has a good physique. <laughs> a little physique, yeah. A little belly. <laughs> All right, let's see. All righty, we'll draw this uh, cat here. Now, the thing is really interesting. I mean, it really can actually study the... Um, this has the same flow as the dog did, but you can really study the anatomy of animals and the bones and 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 all that stuff because they do have a pelvis and uh, the pelvis and the and the torso, the cage. Really interesting. Uh, ready? Now this is kind of a bit of a tough one. I think we'll do the elephant first, and then that one, and then call it a night. Yeah, this will take this will take at least half an hour. All right, we'll do these two drawings. Uh, oh, but Laura left. <laughs> Laura left already, so we'll we'll, no, we'll take we'll take requests. I know we got quite a few of you still hanging out. Let's see, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of you. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to throw in something in the chat. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, do the elephant. Uh, do the elephant. Elephant, elephant. There you go. The elephant. Don't forget. All right, so we've got a big circle shape for the body. Yeah, we'll just do those two drawings. You can see it, and you can see these angles. That, that circle shape, not quite a circle. You can see it kind of cut in. Let's go a little bigger. And, you know, I always start off with circles, though. You can see the circle the circle head here sh shape. Maybe even another circle kind of shape there. And see the relationship of, of all this stuff. Maybe even a bigger circle here. Let's move this one around. Yeah, right, right in there. You can see that. Let's make it bigger. Oh yeah, right in there. That form. Try to capture that form. It opens up even more, actually, that whole thing in there. Yeah, and then get rid of that one. Pop up along. This one should be bigger too. Yeah, right in there. All right, let's bring out our angles. You got this angle here. You can see that angle there. Look at that angle. It's easier to see these angles and then, you know, do the curves. Curves are, e are, are easier, but if you see the angles, see the shapes, it really helps. Like even here, see this here and then this there. See these angles. Don't let the curves, don't let the curves confuse you. Don't let the curves confuse you. Oh, you're welcome. I like somebody's been putting hearts on uh, on the comments. <laughs> I can't tell who, who's doing that. Appreciate those hearts though, because I do. I would. I would... <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Thank you, Demi. I have a good sense of humor. Plus, you know, figure, you know, acknowledgement. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm glad you guys are supporting each other. All right. Cool. All right, so then more angles here. You can see this angle here. Notice that angle, that angle. There's, it's, it's a little complex, but this eh, I probably put it into two angles. This angle here. See all the little detail and stuff, all that stuff, but it, 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 and it slightly curves in, curves out. But if you see these big shapes, even that, there's a little bit of here and then it comes out slightly. Look at that angle there that angle kind of there see this is you know 
the whole direction of that shape, the whole form. See, I can actually just, even that. I mean, there's little details as it goes up and down, up and down. But if you don't get the direction, all that stuff, all the detail will confuse you. All that detail. Will... All right, so there we go. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, let's sketch this one in. Uh, notice the eye where the eye is and the circle. It's in that bottom half. It's hard to do this in half like this again. It's right there. All right, cool. Oh, let's screenshot this. Let's let's save this one. I can do this right now. I, I haven't been doing this. All right, screenshot. Bam. There it is. Capture. All right. There it is. All right. So here we go. Stop sharing. And then we're going to um, copy paste. Let's copy image address. So here, if you want the actual image address is right there and if you want the image itself i can copy it and put it in there as well bam now that i know how to do it there we go all right let's do this here we go here we go so we got the body it's a big old body right there the body and then we got the head over here somewhere in relation to that body um I mean, they line up a little bit so I, i'm probably gonna make that body a little bigger but this head is where I'm really focused on that circle for the head, the nose kind of coming out of it right in here. Ready? So that circle shape, nose. All right. So two participants, and I'm gonna mute somebody. It's mute me a little bit. <laughs> And then the whole um, trunk, the trunk, we called it a nose. It is their nose. Kind of comes down to a, a circle at the bottom. It does turn a little bit of a twist. But we call it a circle. This shape, this shape. I'm seeing this shape. See these angles? And then I can see the legs, the body. This back part probably maybe a little bigger. That's all right. Right in there. Let's get the legs in here. I can see the legs are going to fit right in there. And this angle back here. This angle there. I'm just blocking it in. Bring that back part. There's one foot this way, and then the other foot fits right in there, kind of like that. And notice I'm just blocking it in, kind of even getting the direction, the placement. That's good. And just really quick, really quick. That back ear, back in here, like right in there. And I'm just getting the big shapes and how they fit. Now I can go in there and uh, the detail the face definitely the face and they didn't even draw everything they actually this is they're doing what i'm kind of suggesting they did all the detail here and the rest is kind of like just slightly suggested this is the important part this is the important part so uh, we broke this into fourths and then um the eye was a little bit in front right in here right in this little spot right there right below the middle to the left of the middle and uh, just go ahead and draw it. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm drawing and talking about. Uh, and it's it's a, that almond shape. The top kind of loops over around. And then the bottom goes up and through it like that. And then we've got that circle eye. The circle, 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 circle right there. The pupil. A little bit of a highlight right there and this is uh um, just practice drawing eyes and draw practice drawing stuff um there's a little bit of a space a little bit of a, a thickness to it that bottom eye and then there's a little bit of uh, an eyelid at the top like that and i'm drawing really quick then there's all these wrinkles, which I can just just like really quickly 
kind of scratch in like right on top of all this stuff just get that scratching and there's a lot of detail in here shading and stuff like that but once i've got that eye well, I've got everything else I'll just kind of start going in the trunk there's that trunk that goes right in here like right in here see this this uh square shape right there that that uh and i can see that shape right in there the way the trunk is kind of right a little bit overlapping i'm going to cross it over a little bit it tapers back up open it up a little bit there we go and just going into the ivory tusk is going inside that so there's a little bit of overlapping here bring that up there we go move the trunk goes forward here a little bit there's a little bit of forward push see it's easier to just do that a little bit of forward push oh i can't see it because people are falling asleep a little bit of a forward push right in here all right all right a little bit of a bump on this side. that's where this eye is a little bit of a bump on this other side and a little bit of a bump and then it goes up and over up and over and down and then up and up. there it is all this in shadow and detail right here this cheekbone and this in here and i'm just drawing it without describing it so do the best you can we can we can break this down another day if you need me to slower but it's getting late no i'm just drawing fast like i i normally would without anybody watching or uh, worry about see how i just uh, uh, fixed that ear a little bit brought it down it's up here bam i'm just cooking it cooking away and there's a lot of detail a lot of a lot of shading this shadow part on this side I'm doing a lot of shading sketch it in real quick some texture he's got texture a little bit of shadow that that whole circle really fits perfectly for that area of shading and wrinkles there's all kinds of jokes the trunk and the <laughs> elephant jokes I would say, hey, Google, tell me an elephant joke, but yes, I know you can't. <laughs> you might want to check the I might. I might. I still haven't fixed that. <laughs> All right, let's get this nose to taper a little bit. Taper, taper. It's got some texture on it. Look at it. Just... This is where that blind contour would also help. Oh, wow. Oh, it's curving this way. I'm curving it this way because I'm looking down on it. The drawing has it curved the other way. I put a little, little bit of little bumps on that trunk as well. Oh, and do the other uh, one on this side. A little more detail on the trunk and its front. All right, let's get these legs in here. Left to right, left to right. Yeah. Nail, nail that nail back forward and up 
see i have the direction i'm just just adding the foot and stuff onto it but it's all kind of there Going a little fast. I'm going to have to um, get that form going so I know who's here. I know I got my regulars. And we got some new people that are still hanging on there. That's awesome. But yeah, that's why I'm going to do my form and get to know who you are. And then we can focus because then I can see who's dedicating. It's about the dedication. It's about the putting the they say 10,000 hours but really if you're doing it I can see hey what do you want to get better at what do you want to aim the class at what what should our purpose be especially these long hours people <laughs> doing these long longer hours we got to have a purpose what are we aiming for I want to do this I want to do that okay uh, you're doing the uh, commitment you're putting in the time we'll head the class in that direction yes somebody wanted to do portraits somebody that had been here coming regularly so they wanted to do portraits that's why we're doing portraits but um i want to tailor the class I want to move and then because and and really show the importance of drawing because uh capturing ideas and sketching and really use it for something especially as we enter this age of ideas and as we enter the age of ideas creativity and artificial intelligence not real intelligence just artificial artificial sweeteners yeah what's going to be crazy is man you're going to be able to just write a story and the computer will animate it for you that's where we're headed that's where we're headed actually imagine telling a story and say okay wait a minute make the tusks longer on this character and the you know you can actually create your make the make the elephant angrier. Move the camera in. You'll just just by speaking it, you'll be able to tell a story. You'll see that in five ten years. But that's where we're headed. We're kind of there, but you have to know a little more of the programming side and stuff. And I'm adding shadows and shading, a little more than than what's there, but just. Uh, all right i think that's it there's the elephant all right looking back and forth i gotta bring this up a little bit more right in there what else does it need mm, that's not too shabby back leg should probably stick out a little bit more there. not a big deal all right all right this next one is going to be a little tougher yeah, it's midnight here. <clears throat> Another day we have to try the elephant again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's good to draw animals. It's like the next step to drawing people, especially the bones and, and, and the structure and stuff like that. And if you're off, it's not a big deal. But when you're off with people, we see people more often. So we know things are off. Try the elephant again another day. All right, let's get to our, uh, what is that, a puma? I think it's a puma. Let me look that up. A puma. puma. I'm pretty sure it's a puma. Puma. Images. Bam. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a puma. I believe it's a puma. Mm -hmm. I don't know or cheetah oh i think it's a cheetah <clears throat> might be a cheetah 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 yeah yeah okay yeah it could be a cheetah now that's got the yeah that's got the face designs on it that's why the monkeys don't like playing uh cards 
There's all the cheetahs. All right. All right. We're going to do this. I'm going to do this really quick. And uh, yeah, see if you can follow along. I'm going to draw this really quick. I'm going to break it down really quick first, though. Give you a little bit of uh, things that I'm looking at. All right, uh, we've, well, we've got uh, we've definitely got this flowing line. I mean, if we got this circle, look at that right there. Bam. And then you got this other kind of like a circle on the top. Look at that. Bam. Look at that. All right. So and then a uh, circle of the head, boot to the head. And then um, square shapes. Where's our square shapes here? Right. It's kind of like a square shape right in there. I'm trying to capture a square in there. That's all square. Yeah, look at that. Let's see, same height, same width. All that kind of fits in the square. Let's bring that up a little bit. Right there, look at that. Bam, same height, same width. Circle right there. Ooh, look at that, right in the middle. Right in the middle. So we're just looking at relationships, seeing how it all fits. We get that square in, get that half circle in there. Then that head right up at the top. Look at that. Look at that. That should help. All right, here we go. Let's uh, jump. Oh, let me share. Oh, let me. <laughs> let me. Where's my chat? Let's throw this in the chat. I don't even know if it, it, it saves pictures. I know it saves chat. Um, Zoom will save my chat. Capture. There we go. Paste. Peace. And then stop sharing. And then I don't know. Who needs what? Do you want the image address? Or paste it again. Here's the image address. I'll put both. And then here's the image. I don't know what helps. Whatever you can use. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Ah, I guess I'm gonna start off with my square. I'll start off with that square really quick Ooh, let's see how fast we can do this i'm kind of running out of battery here actually i need to shake a leg so here's my square that half circle halfway is that there let me see oh it was in there it's about up there and i'm drawing it smaller i would probably draw it bigger but uh here's my square here's my circle that's halfway there about there i'm scribbling it all in here's the head it was right, uh, yeah, right a little bit in front. Scribbling it all in. This back leg in here, coming in forward, right about there. And then this other leg. Watch the angle backwards, backwards. Am I zooming in? Zoom in a little bit more. So this thickness of this leg, how it fits in there. And then this paw. I need to move it forward, I need to adjust, push it back. And this other leg right in here, right there. Two above ground. This flows up, up into the neck. And there we go. Let's get this head in here. This head's going to be right about that big. Then the, the muzzle. Let's see. Rose. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bam. Oh, yeah. This is a cheetah. I believe it's a cheetah. Cheetahs have this. They they uh, counterweight with their tail. I've seen a cheetah moving in slow motion. There was a video of a cheetah and how he would swing his tail around just to capture to, as, he, as he made turns and stuff. It was really amazing. Animals, nature, amazing. All right, that's it. Looks like a dog. That's all right. We're gonna fight that. We're gonna fight that. If it looks like a dog, all right. It's it's, it's all right. It's all good. Make the head a little smaller. Last drawing for the night. Muzzle a little smaller. Bam. See, I can make those adjustments. That's it. 
it's got the eye kind of it's just a suggestion of an eye it's not really even the eye then you've got this cheek that kind of like looks like a letter s coming through there like that the muzzle another little design in there the forehead this forehead is is really strong at an angle right there that angle right there and then it curves and comes down to the muzzle and that ear back here like a leaf shape the petal and there's the head if you can get the head that's it you're ahead if you can't it's all right that's the hard part and just, just accept it and go on keep, just keep just keep going the flow of this back line look at that flow nice flowing line it comes up and around bam wow well, actually, this probably was faster than that elephant. Well, it is faster than the elephant, but it was drawn faster. There's less detail. This doesn't have as much detail. But I think this is a little tougher. As far as shape-wise, I think getting the flow, getting these shapes right, getting it to, to go right, it's probably a little more challenging. Cheetah. The paws do kind of like open up and there's like a circular shape. I've been drawing paws all night, the overlapping, those overlapping shapes. There we go. And then just some grass. It's just grass underneath. I'm going to hide this foot a little bit. I don't like it, <laughs> but I'll hide it under the grass. There we go. Oh, bam. Throw your signature in there. Oh, that's not a good one. That's all right. And that's it. There's some shading here and there. There's some shading um, as far as like on the left. So the light again is on the right side. To the left, so the shadows are on this side. Just put a little quick shade, a little shade in there. Add to my, add to my uh, sketching. All right, that's it. Thank you for joining us. Any questions, comments, complaints? Let me know. Talk to the administration. <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks actually, that's not too shabby. You are positively possum. <laughs> Might look like Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> All right. Good night. Cocoa Puffs. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> All right. All right. Demi, thank you for joining us. All right, everybody. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.